hello. I don't even know what episode this is, but it's a number. <laughs> We've what? just lost track. I mean, I, I wanted to remember <laughs> to look it up before I started, but I've forgotten until just now. So, you know what? It's too late. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. It... Look it up for me. Give yeah, me a, give me a solid. Finish up the intro. Uh, welcome back to Kids Corner, Quest for the Core, K4. Episode 5. Okay. Much appreciated. <laughs> episode 5. Uh, um, we are in uh, episode 5 right now. Yes. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we saved uh, a young Asian man from the clutches of an old Asian gang. Um, and A young uh, Asian man from an old Asian gang. Yeah, yeah. sounds about right. Basically. A bunch of elderly people kidnapped him. Oh. <laughs> I, I apologize. I'm being asked musical questions right now. Okay. It's um, okay. So, last time... Yeah, we saved Steve <laughs> Huang from the... We uh, met. Clan. Yeah, you met uh, the doctor lady, whose name I've forgotten. Yeah. Did you uh, upgrade? Oh, you didn't update my... Not on the, the notebook, but the Google Drive is, is updated. All right, let me check that then. My phone would. <laughs> Most disorganized episode to date. Yeah, yeah, really. I literally finished the Netflix episode uh, 20 minutes ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, alright, I am. <laughs> Starting off strong, eh? <laughs> Starting off on the right foot. Oh, I didn't even introduce, anyway, I, didn't even I am everybody here. Everybody first. Jesus, I'm so bad today. Oh my lord. <laughs> didn't even introduce, yeah, no. come on. What kind of host are you? Oh my god, I'm just. I'm okay. I'm the host, uh, Cody McLaurus, your your battle boss, joined today by the Imperator. Hello. He's playing Cairo Setsubo, uh, Hacker Man Supreme. I'm also joined <laughs> by uh, Mr. Oh. Funkster. E. Uh, he's he's playing. Uh, Andrew Oid, everyone's drug dealer and, uh, and smuggler. Yeah. Dealer. Okay, so her name was her name was Doctor Meliander. Ah, okay, yes. Cool. Okay. And her uh, buff and angered assistant, Woober. <laughs> everyone's favorite. What a man! Yeah, what a so man. yeah, last time we saved we saved the child, old child, a very old child, uh, yes. and uh, we we saved him from the clutches of an evil uh, gang, and we gave him over to the doctor for medical treatment after he had been you know severely injured. Yeah, I kind of just left um, you guys there. Yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> although to be fair, like bonus, like started out with a gang war basically by brutally murdering everybody that was present so i told him not to i warned him i he told did. him not to he did but bonus has special problems with human trafficking okay <laughs> that's not my problem well he's gonna make it your problem <laughs> this is a fight that i can't help him with bonus would be uh chaotic neutral <laughs> This encounter or my character? <laughs> Bonus. Cairo is chaotic evil. We all know it. It's obvious. And, wow. And, 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 I'd believe that. Interoid is just chaotic. <laughs> he's he's true chaotic. Yeah, he's he's just true chaotic. So if you look down at the, the bottom of, of this lovely screen, you'll notice that there are now a lot more uh, company meters uh, listed down below. That's because I have a problem. And I'm addicted to making companies, so I've made like a dozen more. They have to work right now. So, <laughs> um, all because I wanted to come up with a real estate agency. Oh my god! I wanted to come with a real estate agency. There's so many. And and I forgot to make the real estate agency. <laughs> but I made a bunch of other ones instead. Hold so, on, I I need I need Xavier to see this. I so need. I'll, I'll I'll read the names off of them. No, no, Xavier, can you see the live stream? Uh, one moment. 
It's in uh, the game chat. All right, let me look at this. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh. That's... Huh. I we now that. have a lot more people to piss off. Yeah, I mean, which, like, I wanted to make the real estate company, um, and I, I never actually made one. Um, I got too excited and made a bunch of other ones that have nothing to do with real estate. <laughs> <laughs> All seeing eye, dream, casino corp, Jackson, going in. Hourly <laughs> construction and associates. I think that one's my favorite. Oh, there are a lot of fun ones. The names are all my favorites. The names are great. Premier Wiring. Digital Dam Incorporated. Nostradamus International. Nuremberg Legal <laughs> Media. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, I love that. Uh, Nuremberg legal mediators yeah <clears throat> priority research and development oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next one always, the, 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 my absolute favorite uh, john will always get the next one elker elker no <laughs> question editorial sir. See, now I'm gonna I'm gonna read the full description for for uh, no no questions intro service. Okay, I have it on the wiki, uh, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring <laughs> the it fact up. that you have it on the wiki is disappointing, <laughs> because there's a lot of things you don't have on the wiki. No, but I have this. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, no questions intro services. What was originally a cover for a team of criminal assassins and hitmen quickly developed into a private janitorial service so large and well-known that the employees and administration were forced to forfeit their previous lives to continue to manage the company's massive workload, choosing to develop their image as armed janitors and clandestine security forces with equal skill in both cleaning and killing. I don't like that. So that means that like janitors it. with shotguns is now a canonical aspect of K4. <laughs> So watch out. Uh, <laughs> be, be careful. The janitor of the shotgun. Yeah. Uh, bullseye advertising. How perfect. It's great. New you. It's a clone corporation. They're... Death is for the poor. <laughs> but immortality as a lifeless computer program or robot is a fate worse than death itself. The remedy is the you automated backup device which transmits a client's consciousness into a prepared clone body moments before the original body's brain death you need to move your finger placing the user's consciousness into a new physical form in the move your move your hand please in the prime of its condition <laughs> also willing to provide some cups to the same person all sporting Synchronized. Yeah, synchronized. It, got, it got cut off. Uh, <laughs> but if you hold, if you sit there, it, it pops up. Basically, I it, hate it'll... this. Yeah, this is I my favorite. This. this is the best. I love this. Thing. I hate it's this. so good. Con, con learning. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say it's the Khan Academy. Yes, literally. It's it's that's what it is. It's the Khan Academy, <laughs> but on crack. It's it's the greatest. Literally, like. It lets you basically it's, it's a company that sells skill wires so you plug in like a wire into your brain and it teaches you oh stuff my God. and rich people use it on their kids to make them do better in testing so they can skip school and just like go right into the work workforce from like age like eight i don't like that but they can cause like horrible side effects and stuff but nobody cares about i don't that. like that i don't like that and then olympus <laughs> biotechnical it's pretty cool too but why this one is a skill Con learning. <laughs> yeah, con learning, always Alcatraz, and no question janitorial are my favorite three so far, I think. But now, now the funny. question arises. Mm -hmm. The <clears throat> the uh, cleaner gentleman yeah. that was in K1, the janitor with a shotgun, yeah. was he from No Questions yes. janitorial? Yes, he was, he was in the, the precursor company to No Questions janitorial service. He's the, uh, he's the primordial member. Yeah, he's the founder. 
He's the founder. Yeah. We we shot him, but he's the founder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, enough about talking over how funny I can make named companies. Um, so it is literally like the the, the same day. So while um, uh, Mr. Mr. Zetsubo is off <clears throat> gallivanting with this uh, beaten and battered young man in tow, uh, what 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 are Mr. Oid and Bonus doing at this uh, crime scene, basically? Uh, well, seeing how uh, our objective has been secured, everything has been uh, gone as wrong as it can, really, for now. Um, I do believe it's time to leave. Alrighty, so you're going to just go back to your, your apartment? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, yeah, bonus is going gonna, is gonna to go back. Alright, time skip time. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so it's a day later. Yeah, it is the next day. Uh, Cairo, you would get the automated billing message from the doctor saying that like she released Steve back into the wild. That's what happened. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like when she sends me the message. I'm gonna go over there and meet up with him. Okay, uh, you. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the com link first with bonus, and tell him like, hey, uh, yeah, the kids, the kids out, and he's fine. Make me a luck check to see if he even bothers to answer his phone. Oh, joy. Oh, this has had an update. It has? Yeah. Oh. My... Oh. Nope. He doesn't even acknowledge my call. Nope. He is too busy <laughs> doing something else. And I'm going to try again. Right, I'm going to try can, again. You can call him again. All right, this dice no longer exists. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, there's no. You're not gonna get a response ever. Two so one while I'm on the way over there, I'm gonna try again. There we go. All right. So after spending <laughs> the entire car ride trying to reach bonus, and realizing halfway through that your phone was turned off, uh, eventually <laughs> you, you actually call him for real, and uh, <laughs> he picks up. And you just hear a, a singular grunt from there, just like mm. just like a. Hey, the kid's doing good. Uh, I'm on my way to pick him up now. Mm-hmm. Meet me at the noodle shop. All right, click. The bonus waits for no man. Um, so he he's gonna start heading over to the noodle shop, Little China, Huang's Little China, and you uh you find Mr. Huang. Uh, sailing out out front of the like suburban rich person's house of the doctor that you dropped him off at previously. Yeah. Um. He's probably dressed so in like the, the yeah. medical, <clears throat> like the hospital gown, you know. Um, oh jeez. Because his clothes were would have been destroyed and like cut off of him. I'll uh. Wounds, so. I'll uh. I'll I'll give him like a, 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 a I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll synthesize him some new AR clothes for now. <laughs> so the, so but, I'm with the reality. Just, just fizzling the, translucent the, clothing. They're not going to like protect him or anything, but at least it'll cover up the nether regions. It will. It will. It would fool um, a cat. Uh, but well, we're on a bike, so yes, like you're no one's going to really care. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so you, you pull up, and uh, and he's like, oh. Mr. Mr. Zetsubo, thank you so much for for saving my life back there yesterday. Hey, it's not just me that you got to thank. Uh, and he's like, oh yes, of course, of course. Uh, and he's like, uh, what are you what are you doing here? I'm here to pick you up. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, and he's like, yeah, sure. He just hops on the back of back of your fancy schmancy motorcycle, and. Uh, you you bring him to the the noodle place? Yeah, man. All right. So you you bring him back to the noodle place. Uh, do we do we roll a random encounter? Um, sure. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Let's see how quickly we can kill Steve because he rolled like a one or something, and you know, nuke goes off. All right. Let's see. 
<laughs> percentile dice. Let's go. Come on, get something good. Get something good. A 13. 13. Unlucky number 13. Well, this is kind of random, but okay. Um. Uh. Okay. So. <laughs> so <laughs> you and you and Steve. Uh, are are driving back towards the noodle place. You're a few good few hours away at this point because like suburbia is a long ways away from the middle of the inner city. Um, and at some point, uh, you're at a uh, <clears throat> at a stoplight, and uh, this 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 man and a woman are uh, they walk out onto the 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 crosswalk, and then the guy says something to the woman. You can't you can't hear, but you just see him like lean over and talk to her. And she stops in the middle of the street, and with her this really fancy schmancy gilded, psionic, like cybernetic arm, because you're still in the upper upper class society, she just like slaps him across the face with his bionic hand. And I don't damage for this actually, so give me a moment. She might kill him <laughs> in just one shot, which would be pretty funny. <clears throat> oh, she does kill him in one shot. She oh my him. god! So uh, something happens, and she just turns around and just backhands him, and like his jaw comes off, and like his neck breaks and it's just like I, I'm looking at this right yeah yeah you, everybody you you see this Steve sees this people in the cars next to you see this it's everybody's like um <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna kick the kickstand down and like at least go move the body out of the street and uh like hey uh, what's what's the deal here why did you just kill this dude you gonna walk up to the woman and ask why she killed that dude? Yeah. Um, what's what's the problem here, ma'am? Yeah. Don't don't forget, I've got this double barrel shotgun slung over my shoulder, two pistols in holsters on my hips, and a drone that is probably just sitting right next to me. Uh, so you you walk up to her and as you're dragging the body of this random person uh, out of the street. Uh, you ask her like, what happened? And she just looks at you and scoffs, and then uh, like struts back across the street and continues. I'm gonna, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna like mutter while she's still in earshot, bitch. Uh, <laughs> make me a luck check. Let's. See. I want to. Many, I want. How many new enemies can we make in one episode? Let's see. Honestly, enemies. I think the aim for this episode is to have one <laughs> new arch nemesis for every organ. <laughs> for every organization. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we've got a couple of them done already, so let's see. Okay, That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Roll me, uh, I'm, actually no, I'm going to go online, and I'm going to roll a d29. <laughs> and whatever I why don't get... I just, why don't I just roll a d20 plus a d10? Because you'll get a roll of 1 if you do that. Is you know obviously no bueno. All right. I mean, I mean, I can just roll a I d20. Got a 16. 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, well, it's kind of convenient actually. Yeah. Okay. That is kind of uh, convenient. Yeah. So, I'm gonna... so if she hears me, does she try to attack me? Uh, no, she... Actually, make me a perception check while you're while you're doing this. I mean, I don't rely on VR. I built my own AR gear. So, like, nine. <clears throat> so, like, her not liking me doesn't really affect me. Well, I got a yeah. nine. Okay, so y you, as you drag this Miss Body away and you, you know, scuff under her breath, you see um, that under like her, like she has like a purse thing over her, her uh, like shoulder, and like over the lip of the purse, you see a really subtle flash of a camera, and then she just continues to walk on her way. Well, I mean, my helmet's on. <clears throat> Uh, so my yeah, face yeah, is but, fine, but you know she she still you know sent a photo of you for for you know whomever whomever she she works for, which you don't know. 
but I can I can I uh, can I uh, upload Pharaoh's curse to her phone? <laughs> um, I have a lot of I have like three charges of it. <clears throat> let's see. Let me look at the let me look at the, the specifics for for this. See if, if if you would be able out to do something like hack into this person's phone. Let's see. Custom form intense Trojan virus. Um. Okay. Custom form of intent. Let's see. Um. I would say if you make an agility check, check to act fast enough before she gets out of range, then yes, yes, you could do that. All right. Seven. <coughs> agility uh, of five. Yeah. So you upload. Actually, you would have to hack into the. So make me. This is This is pretty high quality. This is like the highest quality equipment you could have because it's she works for a very good company. Um, okay, so you're gonna make you're gonna make a hack check. So roll one d ten, and I'm gonna roll one d eight. And whoever rolls higher uh, wins, basically. I got a one. Fantastic. Hey. Eight. <laughs> her phone is not yeah. on any firewall, and you just like <clears throat> upload this. There's no. Phone. There's like no passcode or anything. It's like it's like, like it's like um a fingerprint passcode, right? But it's not a very good fingerprint passcode, and her <laughs> her digital one is like one two three four five because she never uses a digital one, right? So you just like <laughs> type it in and it's like super easy. Uh, and yeah, you can you upload uh the Pharaoh's Curse to her <clears throat> phone. I'll give her like thirty minutes until the the update hits. Yeah, so in a in a, in a few minutes, she her she's not gonna have a phone anymore. It's gonna be a, a brick of metal and crystal. Well, it's also gonna delete anything that hasn't been like yeah yeah. Well, that's it, it on wipes, the phone. It wipes the whole the whole thing. It it, 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 it fries the whole shebang. Yeah, it takes computer and puts it <clears> in the <throat> trash can. Okay, it does. It goes, it goes all the oh, way. Oh, fucking place trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's one use of of that down that I will mark. Yeah. I had like three set up, so primo. The peak of cyber warfare, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> using it on random passersby. <laughs> she took a picture of me. Military I don't take too kindly of that. Uh, yeah, so that's the only exciting thing on, on your walk back. I have to not make a note to myself because you've annoyed this company. Oh boy, okay. Uh, yeah, so the, the rest of the drive is fairly uneventful. A um, couple hours pass, and you make it to uh, Huang's Little China. Uh, bonus is his, you see his motorcycle parked out front, and you see him through the now fixed window. It's been a couple of days. Um, All right. He's in there. Eating some, some lo mein. Just lo mein. Just lo mein. A massive pile of lo mein. <laughs> He's like me. Only eats, <clears throat> only eats plain lo mein. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in with the Stevie boy. So you walk in with Steve, and the 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 old old man, the grandfather, sees him through like the kitchen window, and uh, oh, we've lost. We've lost him. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's, he's back. back. Uh, <coughs> and uh, he he sees his grandson to the window, and he gets all excited and happy. He runs out, and they all hug, and the whole family comes out from the kitchen and, you know, embraces, and they're all crying, and they all thank you and stuff. And uh, they do offer to pay you if if you, you will accept payment. Uh, nine. No payment. No? Okay. Yeah, bonus won't, won't take any. We have been really charitable to these yeah. people. Yeah. Well, to be fair, you, you did give him like a thousand dollars for that one meal, and yeah, yeah, you've just been like helping these people out left and right. <laughs> it's hard. This is this is the moral arc of this. Yeah, yeah, because you know this we're game. supposed to be hard-boiled criminals and mercenaries. <laughs> we are uh, giving away jobs for free. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get a bad reputation. Thanks, we're gonna man. be like, ah. Oh, well, I gotta pay you guys. You do stuff for free, right? And we're like, um, excuse me. Well, well, it's not like they're connected to 
any crime bosses. We are basically civil protectors. I mean, it did, well, I mean, Mr. Oi did, like, assault two police officers the other day. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say protectors, I would say... Um, well, it's not like we're helping the cops, like, we're helping the people. Yeah, we're, we're, we're like the neighborhood watch, the neighborhood watch also hated the cops. <laughs> so We're down with corporations. Not even, because we, we, you really annoyed that the corporate guy before. The Johnson for Hermes. Yeah, whose name I also have a name for him now. <laughs> Hermes Johnson. Yeah. Uh, although today's mission is also the... involves him again, so this is going to be a fun... <laughs> His name is the Hermes Johnson, who is also a Hermes Johnson. Ah, uh, very funny. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, are you don't take any wine. Do you eat a meal at the the restaurant, or you know? Do you know what? Yeah. All right. Now they 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 offer you like free meals for life, basically. Oh word. Yeah, because you save you save their business. See, their I mean, I'll pay anyway. I'll I'll like leave a generous tip at the end. Well, how, how generous am I gonna be? What is that? A thousand. I'm, I'm talking like I'm talking like fifty. Fifty. That's a lot of money. Straight up fifty. Stop. All right. I got you. Let me mark this down. All right. Okay. All right. This next this next job has to give us a lot of cash. Well, it might. <laughs> well, I also need to do my next set soon keep that in mind i i would keep that in mind that's when i was going to be in mission soon but we have this one and then you have to do your your fight night against the brother oh yeah the and then after you do that oh yeah that's a, that's a, that's a work. i like, want to do that i, I want to do that now like that's in a week still i know but i want to do that now like i want to do that now? today i do that today i'm gonna break my timeline <laughs> i'm gonna disrupt my Can plans I... Can I? All right. I won't do it today. I'm gonna use my free time to train with bonus. You're gonna try. Okay. Um, that's actually a pretty smart move. Where do you want to train? Do we? Does anybody have a contact? Well, after does every bonus mission, have a contact? After every mission, you get like another one, so you would have one. I Ooh, bet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come up with a new contact then. Alright, so you're back down to zero. Alright. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's fine. Uh, this is going to be the owner and the Ha! Owner and proprietor. Okay. Uh, of a fighting school. Alrighty. I will bring up my NPC generator. Everybody uh, I, I was gonna say, I already have a name. Okay, I'll just get a personality then with you. Mr. Uh, Frank Jiggles. Frank. Franklin Jiggles. Alright. Franklin Jiggles. Franklin G. Jiggles. <laughs> Franklin. Franklin G. Jiggles. Alright. You know where this reference is going, right? No. No, I don't. Really? We've spent a lot of our lives. Oh, never mind. No, get it now. Yeah, get it now. Yep. Get it now. <laughs> took, took that little hit there, but I understand now. I understand. Franklin G. Jiggles. Um. All right. Let's generate some some new traits. Make them good traits. Uh, he's flatulent. Is that? His no. <laughs> oh. Oh uh, God. Um. Hmm. This is this is pretty good. All right, so he okay. is a a, uh, a well groomed guy, uh, large eyebrows. That um, that's actually pretty on par. That's pretty accurate. Uh, his characteristic he taunts his foes, which is also pretty true. I have to say that's pretty true. Yeah. His personality he's emotional, which I think is pretty ironic. It um, is. No, he he actually is. He is. He's, he's yeah. He can be a, a soft guy, but also, well, no, no. Um. Uh. How should? How can I? How can I put this? Uh. Simon says he is much less emotional than. 
<laughs> to Mr. Jiggles. Oh, God. And then, uh, Mr. Frank's neck is a sense of right and wrong, which is also incredibly fitting. So, this yeah. Out. All right, let me put this down. Perfect. Here. Perfect. Sheet. Mr. Frank G. Jiggles. Yeah. His nickname is Frankie G. Owner. Frankie. Frank. Frankie. Frank. Owner and proprietor of. Now I gotta find a generator for the name of this place. Well, what city are we in? We're in Ryanstown. Which is like basically. Like we switch. could we could go with Rima. <laughs> that could be that's a bit that's a bit too on point. It um, is. It see. is. It, it it exposes too much. Here we go. No, that's martial arts names, not martial arts school names. Um what's uh let me just Google this. Martial arts school. Maybe like a gym. It's gonna be like a gym. Gym. <clears throat> Frankie G's Rough and Tumble Training Arena. <laughs> rough and Tumble. Um, <laughs> Come on, it's, it's not a bad name. Um, business name ideas. Here we go. <clears throat> Crouching Tiger Flying Fist. Uh, we could we could just say like how about how about like like hmm. crouching tiger flying fist fighting school. All right, that that that, that will work. Crouching tiger in fist uh, school. Oh, I love it. I I meant I meant jiggles with a G. Oh, that'd be that'd be giggles then. That'd be even worse. Yeah, that would it's be... jiggles. It's jiggles, but with a G. But it, like I think how you would realistically have to spell that, because you have to pronounce it a little oh. weird. So it, was, it would be spelled like giggles. It would be spelled by like giggles, but it's it's jiggles. Unless we did like that. Yes. Giggles. So. We're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna screw up my timeline real quick and uh, to the the part that I had not planned for yet. So let's let's do that. That's hey, just, that's just that's just assault, Cody. Well, you didn't plan on me fighting the guy the first time. No, well, I do have uh, marginally more plans this time, but <laughs> you know it's a thin margin. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna walk up in there and say, "Hey, fight me now." All right. So I okay. So uh. First of all, so the next day comes. It is. I'll say it's well because we have three days until Sunday, so it's a Thursday. Mm. And uh, you you walk in to this old, beat up, uh, like boxing gym, uh, boxing place. And I think it has like it's like one of those like really inner city ones where like the front door is a garage door. You gotta like okay. lift up the big heavy chain to open it and stuff, so people can like, like they like, air out the the place, you know. And uh, right, probably like you we walk in. There's a big there's, like, a class going on. And there's like the, the 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 couple of dudes sparring in the 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 box. I need to ring. do the roll for this, right? Uh, yes. Give me two D four. D four. I'm so disorganized today. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, a three and a two. Mm -hmm. Alright, so on a three, they, he, he just, he's going to ask a lot of money, which is fitting. And then on a two, uh, you and the PC have never met. The player gets to collectively decide how or why they've never met the person. So why haven't so, you gone here before if you know him from somewhere? Uh, so I've I've seen uh, like his friends like his students fighting online and I've seen him fighting online mm. uh, and he's probably like familiar with my work if he lives in the inner city <clears throat> he, probably, he probably would have hmm, we're basing him off the person we're basing him off of 
He probably wouldn't, just because I don't think he's that kind of, like, modern tech savvy kind of guy. Um, but like, I'm sure that you have, he has heard of the things that you have done. Or no, 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 he's heard his students. Yeah. Talk about yeah, what I've was, done. Yeah. Down the grapevine, he's heard of Mr. Yeah. Zuko. Yes. All right, so I'm walking in without a mask on. Uh, this this guy seems pretty cool. All right, so I think you you I think you walk in and you see that there's like <clears> something <throat> going on. So there's like one dude boxing in the ring, and there are like three little drones that are have, have like pads taped to the front of them. That's exactly what I was looking yeah. for. And they're floating around, and the guys like doing practicing combinations on them and stuff, and uh, you know people probably like that's in the main ring. And outside of like the big hanging bags that people are practicing on, um, they probably like there the, there's the hanging bags that are normal for people who don't have bionics, and then there's like cement pillars people who do have bionic arms, <laughs> <laughs> because bionic arms will punch to a, a, a normal hanging bag like butter. So nice, you know, gotta be gotta be cautious about that. Um, yeah, so you walk in and I think uh, you, you you see Mister Mister Jiggles. Uh, Describe him for me. Uh, short, very short brown hair, large, imposing figure. Um, I think he probably lacks any kind of bionics. Like, he's not grown. Oh, hair. so he's all natural. Yeah, he's all natural. Well, okay. Caveat to that, all natural. He doesn't have any chrome. He might still have body modifications, um, like flesh sculpting or like G modifications. But okay. as far as you can tell, he... Like, he doesn't have bionic arms or yeah, anything, but yeah, he's, he's definitely cool. gone through a couple of, like, plastic surgery sessions just to get those normal features back. And Yeah, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, a, uh, you know, gotta get uh, the, the, the nose in shape and make yeah. sure that you can maintain that metabolism even into yeah. the, the, the older ages, you know? And, uh... So he, I think he, you walk in, and this imposing figure, he's standing over one of the other guys, who's like practicing on a hanging <clears> bag, and he's like yelling orders at him in combinations and giving him like pointers and stuff, and everybody's working yeah. hard, and like the, the music playing in the background over like the building's really low quality speakers. <laughs> 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 and uh, you walk in, and uh, you know I think he, he like he like notices uh, you, and I think I think bonus would be with with you, of course. Um, Bonus is already an imposing guy. Bonus is a very imposing guy. Probably the same age as Mr. Jiggles. Maybe a little bit younger even. Really? Um, yeah, they're both, they're both middle-aged men. Um, but Bonus is imposing both for, both for his looks and also because of his... Like, he usually radiates murder. Whereas, Unease. Yeah, where Mr. Mr. Jiggles it seems marginally more calm <laughs> and more mentally stable than does... Uh, than, than his bonus. Um, would you yeah. have invited Mr. Oid to... Probably. Uh... Probably. All right. So would, would, would Mr. Oid have taken up that offer and... Uh, well, I'd hope practice? so. He's going to be in my corner. Uh, I guess it will be an interesting opportunity to learn about the tactics of the people. <laughs> People, okay. Of the people. <laughs> you I don't know why I'm surprised. You flesh bags. This is... <laughs> These flesh bags yeah. do enjoy fighting. I will learn why. Okay. Hello, Our I am is, human friend. Is Mr. Oid going to be a uh, in human form or robo form? Uh, human. human. Which disguise? Just uh, some random guy off the street, you know. All right. This is never backfired on us at all. Not <laughs> once. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah. So, so the three, the, these these three buffoons stumble into a gym, uh, and uh, Mr. Jiggles he he sees you walk up, and uh, he's like, Ah, look what we have here. Some new students, I'm assuming. Uh, that was... Oh, for one of us, me. 
That would be correct. Uh, and then he, he looks to. I'm actually, he, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a check to disadvantage for him to see if he can recognize who Bonus is because he might know who Bonus is. Oh Jesus Christ! Here we go. Bonus is a well-known figure. Nope, he does not. How unfortunate. Um. So yes, yeah, so he's just like, oh, well. He's like, he's like, well, good. I was good to, to, to see a new student. He's like, uh, which one of you three will I be? Will you know? Will will be joining the fold? And he points to to Mr. Oid, who uh, has impersonated like some random random person. And he's like, you look small and squirrely. How about you, buddy? What's 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 your deal? <laughs> uh. I put my hand up, but I'm like, oh, no, no. I'm just here to observe. Yeah, like, it's well, going to be me that's fighting. He's like, well, I'll I need a bit of money, uh... too, my friend. He's like, but, you know, it's like, oh, okay. It's you, sir. You'll be the, the, the trainee today. Uh, not so much trainee. I just need a bit of practice. He's like, ah, it's like, might I ask for what? Let's just say, uh an underground fight coming up. I need to make sure that I win. Uh, and he's like, oh. He's like, well, you know, I don't really, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really I'm not down. asking you to take part in the fight. He's like, yeah, but I don't I'm want this coming back on me, so, you know, I might need some, some I'm just looking for bondage. the equipment to use. He's like, oh, well, if you're still equipment you're looking for, I got all kinds of it. And he, he points over to, like, the ring where the dude's fighting little floating <laughs> drones. Um, and he's like, but if the, the flying drones are too quick for you, I've also got, uh, you know, Big Bertha over here. And he points to this giant, like, seven-foot-tall robot. Oh, my God. Um, and it looks like, it looks like somebody took, um, uh, like, one of the Jackson, like, butler robots and, like, modified it really heavily and really poorly. So it's like a really DIY boxing, like, robot. You know, for the person that I'm fighting, I think Bertha might just do. He's like, well, I warn you, her servos are a little bit uh, discombobulated sometimes, so if you know if she punches you and her hand goes through your chest, I'm not liable. Uh, and he just that's, walks over. That's <laughs> most definitely a risk I'm willing to take. Because I think the person that I'm fighting can do the same thing. <clears throat> And he's like, ah, going up against a, a, a cyborg, are you? Well, let's just say he's a bruiser, to say the least. He's like, oh, yeah, I know the type of person you're looking, you're talking about. He's like, yeah, Bertha here will help you, help you a little bit. And he like smacks the, the metal chassis and it like clanks and like a screw comes loose. <laughs> <laughs> really, really poorly. Made. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and he's like, well, as soon as. Uh, as soon as soon as Brian in there is done done in uh, his session up in the ring, I'll uh, I'll boot Bertha up here. It's like in the meantime, uh, step into my office and we can we can discuss the price. Sounds good. And he leads he leads you off into into the like uh, a little office uh, off the main training area. Uh, is Mr. Boy <laughs> doing anything in the meantime as he is unsupervised at the moment? <laughs> Is he talking to Bertha? Uh, no, but I will examine, if you know what I mean. Uh, give me an intelligence check to examine the robot. Uh, two. That is a bare pass. So what exactly are you looking for? Oh, nothing. That. that <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, why, why would you roll the, the check if you don't, if you're not looking for anything? I think you know what I mean. No, no, no. No, <laughs> oh, we don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do you want to like turn it on or hack it or give it sentience or something? Because you can do all those things. Uh, I could. I could. Hmm. Uh, 
Damn, wait. Heal away. I don't okay. like the sound. So, of what that. exactly were you looking for with that? <laughs> I think you know. I. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We. I really am at a loss. If you wanna, you know, you can PM me if you don't want it to be publicly known. But, you know. <laughs> I am. I'm at a loss personally. Any, anywho, uh, off in the office, uh, Mr. Mr. Frank, he you know, takes his seat behind uh, the desk, probably a pretty old, beaten up wooden desk. Is uh, it mahogany? No, no, it's it's. it's also, it's, meet Mr. Jiggles. I will look at Mr. Jiggles. I'm just trying. It's on your phone. Oh. You're not phone. Uh, I. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Wrong person. Large oof. Um, so, yeah, so he, he takes a seat behind. It's probably one of those, like, Ikea desks. Oh, yes, perfect. A manly man, lumberjack-looking man. Um, and uh, he, he takes a seat behind this, like, Ikea brand knockoff plastic wooden desk. <coughs> yeah. Uh, and he, like, takes a seat and stuff. Um, and he's like, so how long are you looking to use use my equipment? Uh, uh, just for today. I might need a little bit of tape. I'm putting it there. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. He, you know, tippity taps away on a, a nearby terminal for a little bit. And, you know, pulls up, like, the, the calculator app <laughs> and, and figures out uh, figures, figures out all of the, the price <laughs> and stuff. And, uh, Sounds good. Let's see. What's a, what's a reasonable price? I'll say a reasonable price. Two hundred. Like, yeah, yeah, like two hundred. Two hundred collars for for a full day of use with 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 Big Bursa. And some tape. Yeah, and some tape. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up getting like a whole roll. Yeah. Just yeah, so yeah. I don't damage like the servos in my fingers. Like I'm more worried about my hand getting broken from me punching someone too hard the robot. than I am uh, punching the other thing too hard. Nice. Like so, I'm I'm literally just taping up joints. Hmm. All right, I sounds like a deal. I'm gonna extend out my hand. Yeah, he he takes it and yeah, he's a firm very, grip, very very firm, firm grip. grip, very firm grip, almost painful. Actually, you can feel it through your your bionics. Like, the, your servers were with how strong he grabs your hand. So, like, I would probably have, like, uh, like mock-up nerve endings in my hands. Yeah, yeah, bionics have yeah. Uh, <clears throat> nerve endings. Quote, unquote, nerve uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the back locker room, right? Mm -hmm. And I would keep, like, a mini toolkit to work on my arms and servos and everything. I'm going to tune down the nerve endings... So I'm going to tune down the effect of the nerve end, right? Okay. And I'm going to dull the pressure sensors in my hand so that I don't know how hard I'm hitting. Okay. But I'm still going to have my arms run diagnostics. Okay, so give me give me an intelligence check. Nagle <clears throat> with your, your, arm, your arm electronics. Okay. Perfect. Roll me one d4, please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Perfect. Okay, uh, I know what happened. You don't know until you punch something, so that's gonna be a fun, a fun, fun moment. Um. Oh no. Is it bad? Um. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be entertaining. Um. In the meantime, what is Mr. Oid been doing? Um, honestly, probably scanning people. <laughs> Scan identities. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, so you can just go around scanning people. Uh, they give you strange looks as, you know, this human man uh, has, like, a beam of light that 
sprays from his eyeball and <laughs> runs up and down a little bit, but they don't really care that much. Uh, so I'm still in the locker room, right? Yes. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a test punch at the wall. Okay. Um, Just like a light means, jab. Roll me one d twenty. Thirteen. Cool. So, you punch like a concrete part of the wall. Um, and just like a light jab. A light, a light jab. Okay, so you walk into the wall and you go for me for a light jab and you put your fist straight through the wall. And I need you to roll a willpower check for me. Does it really hurt though? Yes, it hurts unimaginably so. Oh, jeez. Very nice. Four. That's a fail. Willpower five. So, uh, this hurts like... It, like it, it, it feels... It's a bad sting. Well, it feels like somebody has lit your arm on fire. Um, and you begin crying uh, from the pain. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to sit back up on like a little bench... And try to recalibrate. So I turn, like, the pain sensors off. Or, like, the nerve endings off. But keep the pressure sensors, like, the way, like, the pressure the way they're at. Or the way that it's at. All so right. do I need to make another intelligence? You do, yes. Oh! No, that's a one. Oh, that's a one. I got a one. Um, roll me a D100. No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't even have a D100. D100. Oh, wait. D100. Oh, wait. There we go. Am I going to take damage from this? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. This is gone. Totally awry. I'm trying once again. So you uh, jab this screwdriver into your arm and you cut a wire and just like <laughs> and just look at yourself for a minute and you know fly off of the bench. <laughs> like yelping. I'm trying one more time. I'm determined. <sighs> All right. Uh, so I fix that wire. Like I repatch it. Yeah. You haven't healed, but you have gotten your arms to the point where you you wanted them to uh, third time is the charm yes um, yeah, is so... there is there any way I can heal myself back up uh, oh wait my drone yeah your drone can heal you yeah I'm gonna go out to my bike and uh, like I'm wearing like uh, my shoes and like pants still but I've taken my shirt off and I'm gonna hold out my arm and have my drone heal me up yeah, yeah, you're out of combat, so you, I'll, I'll let you just heal, heal up. All righty. All right, I'm gonna go back in, like, uh, like stretch out my arms and uh, go up to the ring. All right, so you go up to the ring. Uh, at this point, you know Brian or whatever his name was, uh, he's finished his little session, and uh, Frank, he he walks out. He walks over to Bertha, who is, like, suspended from the ceiling by, like, massive chains. Yeah. Um, like he, power armor. Like yeah, a power, power armor. armor. And uh, <clears throat> he, like, walks over, and he lifts, like, the faceplate and, like, flicks a switch. And uh, the, the thing, like, shudders for a couple of seconds. And before, like, the like, lights start popping on and stuff, and the faceplate lights up with two glowing uh, yellow eyes. And uh, it, like slowly, you know, clunks to life and he, like, removes the chains and stuff and the robot stands on its own like, you know, pro properly. So my joints are now properly, like, wrapped up and everything. Uh, yeah. And I'm just gonna, like, prep myself in the ring. Alright, yeah, so you, you start prepping yourself. Bonus, he, uh, he's, he's over in your corner. Uh, Mr. Oid is probably in your corner. Oh, if he wants to be somewhere else, he can be somewhere else. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> Where are you going to be, Mr. Lloyd? 
Uh, I will Are be you viewing the fight. Bertha? Are you scanning Bertha? <laughs> no, I will be viewing the fight. All right, so okay, cool. bonus is like in your corner. They got like the big like like squirt and squirty cup of, of water, energy drink. You know, waiting waiting for you. Looks like the the rag over his shoulder. Uh, his I'm gonna I'm gonna put my mouth I'm gonna put my mouthpiece. <laughs> Yep, you get your you get your mouthpiece. You got your your wrapped up hands, and uh, you know bonus. He's he's there, standing on like the the edge of the the corner, and uh, and Mr. Oid is sitting in one of like the folding metal chairs uh, outside the ring. Uh, he's kind of like watching in an unblinking. Uh, I want to point out manner. that the front of my knuckles now say obscenities. Nice. So one of them is uh like the one like knuckle like line of knuckles is Ugh. and the other one says you with an exclamation point at the end. Nice. Yes, very nice. And uh Mr Mr. Frank, he, he like leads the robot over to like a, a small like industrial elevator that probably got stolen off of the back of like a semi truck. Um, and has been welded onto the edge of this boxing ring to allow the robot to step on. <laughs> so uh, the the robot, you know, gets led onto this platform, and the elevator grinds very loudly and very slowly uh, up to the level with the ring, and then it walks. Um, while like the, the the ropes get like undone and pulled aside, and the robot, you know, clunks into the ring, and the ro ropes get reattached, and. Uh, there's like a the, the big the big bell uh, over by where, where Frank <clears throat> is standing and he's just like, Alright, are you ready? I'm ready. And he looks to the robot and he goes, Are you ready? And just a really deep just like beep. <laughs> it says beep. Yeah. Cause you wouldn't program this kind of robot to speak English. Um and uh yes, yeah, so he's like, Alright and then he clings the bell, and almost like a switch has been flipped, uh, Big Bertha, like, drops into, like, an actual fighter stance and stuff. Uh, roll initiative for me. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna play this one out. Six. Six, <clears throat> alright. I'm gonna get my Big Bertha roll here. Alright. She got a nine. What did you get? What's I got your, six. What's your agility stat? Five. Five? Got a lot of so you do go first. So Big Bertha drops low into this his fighting stance. Uh, her servos whirring and whizzing and, you know, horrifying screeching sounds. And uh, So yeah. I'm going to start out uh, get into my stance, right? You know, normal American kickboxing stance. Right leg back, hands up, covering the body and everything. And I'm going to go up and just deliver a right uppercut to the jaw. <clears throat> right. uh, do I get a buff to my damage since I've gotten this? My arms tuned the uh, way I want them to? No, you just don't feel any pain from punching metal. <laughs> Which would I mean, I, ja lot. I jabbed the wall. Yeah. Uh, so Bertha does dodge out of you out of the way of your your fist. So you make the uppercut, and robot just kind of like like her head like almost unnaturally like pivots to the side and like avoids your fist and like snaps back into place. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. It's I'm gonna like back up like a little bit though. All right. So now you you you, you go back in, in for a punch and back up. Uh, Bertha, she will uh, walk up towards you, and she's just going to. Try to like throw a jab? nice yeah, a nice jab out. You can, you can dodge this if if you. Think. I can, I can. Can I counter it? Um, you're not professionally trained yet, so no. Okay. You would get that after you become like a professional. Oh. Nice. So, her her jab is like really like heavily like. Um, it's like a haymaker. Well, no, it's it's just like. Like she brings her arm up in a really obvious like like uh, like pre pre preparation to punch out, 
and you hear as the gears were before she actually punches you just like duck down and it just goes right above your head it's like a chunk but you can you can feel the air move above your head as the fist goes over uh you can you can feel the the pneumatic pistons like you know fire off when, she, right. when she punches well then this is the perfect opportunity hook to the body all right uh she will try to dodge this but at disadvantage because you got a crit that time see oof just enough you do manage to you know rising upper like rising like hook right into what would be the robot's like ribs all right a little damage 70 yes nice all right i will get a counter out to figure out the check of damage that you deal So this one, like, like it, it's a firm connection. Yeah, it's a, it's a like 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 drive the. Hold on one moment. I'm teaching people musical things. Um, so he like you like drive your whole body weight like up, like you like twist your your torso and like just full full strength. And you you feel like the dent, the metal dent, and start to give way a little bit as your your fist collides with the side of the robot. Um. She will. She's going to try to, um, like, like, uh, like right hook you, but like at a like a, a forty five degree angle downwards to like shove you back to the ground, basically. Um, you can. Oh, dodge. okay. You can well. I can dodge. Yeah. Okay. That was a that was a meaty hook. Ooh, that's a two. Ooh, how unfortunate. <laughs> uh, so you do get uh, clunked. Only oh, okay. so you, you are mostly safe. Uh, <laughs> you 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 took moves to dodge out of the way, but like you 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 like your momentum from upwards was like too much for you to like dodge to the side fast enough. But she, the robot seems to have like over calculated where you were gonna be, and like clips your like your shoulder with her fist as she like punches down. You like slip underneath most of the punch, but your right shoulder does get like a little nick. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing terrible. You're not like bleeding or anything, but you know, you felt that. You felt that. Just gonna keep my breath and uh, uh go for that uh. Go for that left overhand. All right, she will dodge this. Seven. So she does. So you come back around with the left, and she just kind of like raises her her arm, and your the metal like sparks fly as the the metal clangs onto metal. All right. Um, <sighs> she is going to. Uh, use that little opening to try to roundhouse kick you. Excuse you me. You can't dodge. Yeah, this is this is I will. this is kickboxing. I will dodge. Yes. Very nice. So you do just manage to like, like step into the brush, kick and like brush the leg out of the way. Yeah, and like as this this large. Like really meaty metal leg collapse. Uh, so I'm gonna, as as I get out of the way of the kick, I'm gonna try and like deliver an elbow into the, into like the midsection. All right, yeah, she will dodge at disadvantage again because you knocked her off balance. Oof! Wow, oh! that's oh! just awful. No matter what. Okay. Uh, so is she like stunned for a turn after that? How do, how are we gonna rule this? Um, well, no, so do, do the damage of your, your elbow there. Okay. Thirty. Thirty, all right. Wait, is she, like, facing the same direction as me now? Because it was, like, kind of like a slipping elbow. Well, if you roundhouse, 
tuned out of the way, you elbowed. Um, will you... No, she's still facing, like, you. Um, but you do, so you, you like, step out of the way of the roundhouse, and you come right back in with this, this elbow, and you slam into, like, the, the, the metal faceplate, and you, you know, dent the, the metal cheek, and, and like, the robot's right. head, like, pivots a little bit to the side of the neck, like, pivots. Um, and, uh, she, like, staggers back a couple of, a couple of feet, having obviously not calculated for that, you know, level of force and stuff. And that yeah. kind of a counter that quick. Um, so she will, in her disorientation, uh, she will try to come right back at you with, like, another, another jab, but you can... You can dodge this at, at advantage if you if you want. At advantage. Yeah, because she is like dazed basically, so you can't punch well. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. So she she stumbles back. She stumbles forward again, and she like takes a, a stepping jab, and you just kind of like just very easily just like step out of the way. So I'm gonna try and uh, uh, come up with uh. With another like digging hook, okay, uh, to 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 the ribs again. Yes. But yeah, so yeah, to the ribs. Here. She does manage to dodge. So as you this is just punch, a dodge she, fest. Yeah. So she slips, she slips, slips under the uh, under the punch, and you come right back up with the, the another uh, upper like hook. But she's learned her lesson from last time. Um, and has keep is keeping like her other arm there, so your your arm just clangs against hers uh, as you bring your your arm up again. And uh, let's see, for her counter to your counter to her counter to her counter to your counter, um, she will um, just try to like like right hook just straight across, try to clock the upside of the head. I'm gonna try and slip out of it. Oh! So this this haymaker just comes right at you. You manage to to duck under under the way and like sidestep at the same time. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna deliver a hook to the head. All right, she will once again attempt to dodge. Wow! Oh yeah! So, so she she goes to throw this haymaker and leaves herself wide open and like overextends her torso. You just like straight up just poof, right to the face. For the Thirty. Damage. So I've dealt some pretty good damage. Yeah. So you just poof, across the side of the head, and she is once again disorientated. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, she will attempt to. But she staggers back another couple of like another step. Uh, and they're gonna c try to come back at you with like. A we need a fist. we need a we need a like a, a a turn counter, so that we can keep track of the turns. And after a certain amount of turns on each side, that's when the round is called. Well, each combat round is like six seconds, and uh, a boxing match is like what a minute, two minute rounds, I think. Minute. Minute. So well, this be... would probably be a minute. Yeah, yeah. So, so she's her. She's going to to bring her uh, fist to final. Try to like just pain maker move, like a hammer fist down on top of your head, basically to try and like clonky. I can I can dodge this at advantage, right? Uh, yes, because she is dazed. Nice. Oh! <laughs> lucky man. Lucky man. <laughs> Polar opposites. Oh she, man! She to, like catch her arm up before it, like <clears throat> slams into the top of your head, and you hear like like the, the the metal pistons in your arms are both whirring as she's like you're fighting against her downward force, uh, and then the bell rings so, for the the round. Yeah. Of and uh, the robot like doesn't go limp, but like the her like you can feel the force from her arm stop, and she's like removes her arm and like returns to being like static. Basically, like, and, and you know, just standing at attention. Basically, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sit in my corner. Like, obviously, a little bit out of breath. Yeah. All right. What did you gather from it? I'm gonna like open my mouth, but like, I'm my speaking is like 
a little bit like distorted because of the mouth guard. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I'm gonna turn to bonus. Uh, bonus. Let's see. Let's see how good his his perceptions are. Not that great, but it's still a pass. So, uh, he 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 turns to you, um, and he's like, like you're you're doing doing a great job, kid. You're uh, hitting the the counters and stuff. You're dodging pretty well. Um, and then you know he just like gives you some some quick counters, gives you some water and stuff to to rehydrate. Um, is is does Mr. Oid pop in at this point? Say anything? Yeah. What's anything? what's what's Andrew's uh, input on my fighting skills? Satisfactory. <laughs> Great. Love it. Perfect. Uh, Thank you. Mr. I'm really Oid, feeling the belief. Mr. Can Mr. Oid roll me percentile dice and come to the number, please? Uh. Seventy-four. That is the odds that you calculate of uh, Pharaoh winning mm. this match against the robot. Oh yeah, I've got an odds machine on my side. Yeah. Nice. So pretty, I love it. Pretty good odds. Uh, the, pretty good odds. I will like, take those odds. Yeah. So uh, you know, a couple more you know seconds pass. For uh, round two, is once again called. Now we got a reroll initiative. Oh yeah! All right, I'm on fire right now. She got another four. Great. You got hey! Let's go. So, having heard the odds, I come into this round ready. Not 113. You... <laughs> What's your initiative? 113. I move at the speed of light. Um, I move literally <laughs> faster than a car. Yeah. So I am a I am a Lockheed Martin. I saw seventy one Blackbird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh so yeah, so the, the bell rings and before the reverberation's even finished, you're already like, you know, moving towards this towering robot. It's 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 the picture of Jotaro moving towards Dio. Yeah. Like <laughs> I am ready. I can't. I can't beat the shit out of you if I don't get closer. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna start out as all good fights do, with a with an attempted haymaker to the body. Like I'm cocking back the right hand, like out of pocket too, so that it's like right out of stance, mm. so that it's like hard to count, like it's hard to see. Does however dodge this haymaker punch as you like, you, like you, like she's still in her corner and you're like charging her basically, uh, this big robot and you just run across the, the the ring, trying to get this punch and she just kind of like like as the the bell finishes ringing and her like combat protocols kick back in, she just like dives out of the way and you like slam into the the corner of the ring and like almost topple over the edge but you know not quite. It's fine. And, uh, that he, that was a mean punch, though. That was that would have been a mean punch. Uh, so the robot, having having gotten out of the way of, of your haymaker, she uh, is going to just try to like straight up kick you kick in the spine, um, because she's brutal like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can dodge this if you wish. Ah! You are dazed. Great. So, uh, she does her damage. Let's see. How bad? Only, only... Is it 80? It's 80. 80 damage. So this... 80? Yeah, so this kick goes right into your spine. She just, like, sidekicks you in the spine. And you're just like... Ah! And like, the air gets, like, expelled from your, your lungs. And you just, like, get pressed against the, the corner of this corner of the the ring uh you know dazed and confused and disorientated um it is however your turn once again all right i'm gonna i'm gonna come around with like a back fist to the head all riggedy righty uh i'm going to i'm just keeping track of combat rounds 
Uh, so she will attempt to dodge this at advantage because you're dazed. She does. So you spin around, but uh, you know they're always just like steps back a couple steps, and you know in your your wild attempt to counter her, you just kind of like swing wide. I'm still fired up. All right, so the uh, robot. Robot's gonna so sees you swinging wide. She's gonna use that opportunity and come in for just another good old jab. And just gonna boop you in the nose real quick. Oof! Your luck has turned. It seems. Oh, you're really lucky. You're. Really I know. Lucky. Only you're down. You're down to eighty health. So, bam! This little, this really light, like lightning fast jab just catches you in the in the in the face, and your your nose starts bleeding. And now you're you're feeling the pain. Now you're 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 in a rough spot. Um, I am angry. Angry. All right, it is your turn. Uh, all right. So this is American kickboxing, right? Yes. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and fake the robot out. Okay. Make me a charisma check. This, All right. like, this was like a performance check if you're playing D and D, but that's not a skill here, so <laughs> Oh! Oh, charisma of seven. Oof. Yeah. So, so you, how do you want to? Like, what's your, what's your, your, your fake out gonna look like? So it's basically gonna try and like go up for a kick, but uh, well, like when I go to raise my knee, I plant it past me and drive around a hook to the head. Okay. Okay. Um. So she will have this advantage to dodge this then, since you, since you faked her out like that. Wow! Oh! Oh! You, yes! Passion, you poof, smack her in the face. Uh, give me, give me that damage. You might, you might be done with this fight right now. No, unfortunately. <laughs> what would have down. been ending the fight? Uh, a seventy or higher would have ended the fight. Now a fifty or higher. Oh. Uh, so okay. You just poof, it's hooking. She. The robot, you know, didn't really see it coming. You just didn't manage to fake her out successfully. You acted well enough with your high charisma. Um, and, uh, yeah, so she has to dodge the nice attack at disadvantage now because she... I want to point out that I I literally drug my fist across her face. Yeah, just like, boom, like the sparks and like the screeching of metal on metal. Um, she will... As a counter to that, uh, just try to like roundhouse kick you in the head because <laughs> you're like up close and personal. So if you're just gonna like, bam! I can dodge this at advantage, right? Uh, yes. Okay, nice. Uh, <laughs> you manage. To, <laughs> so you you like um, interrupt the kick, like so you like drive your body like further into the robot, so she can't get the kick off. Uh, and kind of like prevent yeah. her from, from creaming. So she she's head. like really tall, right? Yeah, she's like seven foot tall. Big All right. Robot. So as as I'm like right in on this robot, I've blocked the kick. I'm just gonna drive a punch straight up. Like I am within like centimeters of this robot. I'm just driving my fist upward. All right. She will attempt to dodge. This is at disadvantage, right? Oh, still a pass. Oh! You, you, you bring your, your, your fist up towards her, and she just, like, bends backwards at a weird angle, and, like, you totally miss her head. Her... Uh, this could be bad. Head. Yeah, so so you got your arm up in the air. She's just going to, like, try to chop you in the throat. Just, like, downwards, just... I was gonna say a headbutt. Oh, it could be a headbutt. Yeah, it would be a headbutt. She's just gonna, like, swing all the way back, full pendulum, and just... You may you may dodge this or attempt to dodge this. Nice. Right. Let's see. Oh! oh! 
<laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. So with this, the, like you, like there's, there's like that, like that moment where your 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 life flashes before your eyes, <laughs> as as like you hear the servos in this robot's torso suddenly like click and like and it's just and she like, like, sl- like shatters your nose and like covers her face plate and like blood and you just teeter totter and then do i get <laughs> sent back into my corner no you do you just like 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 straight up just full full straight back you know fall 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 flat backwards unconscious and you know the you don't even hear the bell ring you're already unconscious at that point but Mr. Oid and Bonus uh, have seen their friend get his face ma- like mashed by uh, this massive robot. Okay, so learning from this, I need to end the fight in the first five seconds. <laughs> uh, what, does, uh, okay. what does Mr. Oid think about? Think about uh... No one come and help me! No, of course not. I will be, I will be coming and help. That's, that's, a, that's a terrible idea. I'm just, you know, dead. I have zero health. I actually have negative ten health. Lol. <laughs> I am dying. No, no, I'm killing not, not too unconscious here. It's it's not lethal damage, so... even like it, it, it would have been if she was trying to kill you, but she wasn't trying to kill you. Uh, I probably have a severe concussion. Oh, yeah, you, you've probably been been wounded, certainly. Um, but you do get rendered unconscious, um, and a few more hours, like a few hours go by, and you, you wake up. No one's going to help me. No, we're going to leave you there uh, on the mat uh, for until you, until you just wake up on your own accord. Uh, no, uh, you know, Oid and Bonus watch as uh, Frank like drags your unconscious body out of the ring and brings you back in the locker room. And uh, you wake up, you know, groggy, groggy-headed, dazed, confused, not sure where you are. Um, and you kind of like look around, and you're like the the med bay, um, and there is a, like uh, a, an IV in your arm, basically pumping strange fluids. Oh, well, it would be in my shoulder. Oh yeah, no, but, yeah, yeah, it'd be in your shoulder, yeah, because you have no arms. Um, or in my stomach, it would have to be in my stomach. Or we could just have like a port, you know, in your arm, so you just like. Um, yeah, yeah. You're, you're being pumped because my healing medication. My uh, arms are, you know, connected through tissue. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you, you wake up, and, uh, you know, I, I assume that Mr. Oid would not stick around to watch, you know, our, our lovely friend get beaten on, but we're like, you know, wait for you to wake up. Uh, Bonus is not going to wait for you to wake up. He's, he's late left already. He's like, oh, well, that was marginally entertaining, I guess. Uh, and then he decided to just leave. Would Mr. Oid have, have stuck around to wait for our friend to wake up? Uh, I would have probably waited like 10 seconds and then, hmm. <laughs> I could probably spend this time doing something better. Nice. Wow, we're just the best mm-hmm. of friends. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh, what great yeah. friends I have. Yeah, so, so you wake up. And uh, you know your your stuff and everything is is all in like a duffel bag next to this like bed in like the the back room of the the gym, and uh, yeah, your your training for the day has been complete. You are back to full health. I'm not gonna punish you for training or anything. So you are back to to full. Uh, I'm gonna go to <coughs> Mr. Frank and. Uh... Thank him for the training session. And he, so you walk in, and he like you're, you're you like you can feel like your face is messed up, your nose is in like a uh, it probably has like some weird like synthetic flesh, like like rubber skin like covering it, like rolling it back in place. Um, and you can you, you can feel your your body healing itself at an incredibly rapid rate. Um, and like you got a black eye and stuff still. And he, you'll be walking in his office, and he just looks at you and like laughs. And he's like, oh, it's like any time, kid. Come back any time. Gotta admit, though, did put up a pretty good fight. He's like, 
He's like, well, he's like I, th- I thought you would have had it there for a second, but you know that that last punch of yours whiffed a little bit. And then, you know, Big Bertha doesn't doesn't uh, let a, a good opportunity go to waste. Yeah. Like, well, well, it's been a pleasure. He's like, that it has, that it out my hand. And he he takes it, but he's like a lot more gentle this time now that he he's like knows that you're you're still physically weakened by the uh, merciless assaulting you've just gotten. I wouldn't say merciless. Uh, I did fight back. You did fight back, but yeah, you know, the robot cares not for your feelings. That's whatever. All right, well, time to go home. All righty. Yeah, so uh, do you want to time skip until the, the fight club? Oh, yes. I've done multiple more, like, static training sessions. I've gotten a little bit more training in. All righty. Oh, actually, after uh, Kyra does eventually get up, I do have something to say to him. Uh, yeah, Open sure. up a comm link. I don't even want to talk to you right now. So after uh, Mr. Zetsubo uh, leaves uh, Frank's office, he sees uh, Mr. Oid standing there, uh, awkwardly, unblinkingly staring him dead in the face. Yes. I must say, Mr. Zetsubo, your fight was indeed an enlightening experience. I thank you for the new data you've given me on this situation. And I leave. <laughs> hey, Oid. I turn around. Think you can whip me up some odds? I quirk an eyebrow. How strong? As certain as it can be. <laughs> Will do. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, so, time skip. Uh, I am going through and subtracting our weekly, uh, rent. We've only been one week so far. All this it has stuff, been. Only been one week. It has been one week. What the heck? All right. So, we've all, we've all paid our thousand colors, uh, in, uh, in, in rent. All right. So, it's the big day. It's fight night. So it is. So it is. And uh, I think, I think this this fight night begins. Um, you know, at like four in the afternoon. You know, Cairo's sitting around, getting ready, preparing himself. Uh, when there is uh, like uh, a pinging on like his like you know the the wall of data that he has, so, like uh, the the windows that act as computers. He gets a a, a yeah. phone call from an unknown number. Uh, I'll answer it, but, uh, with my mask on. Uh, you answer it, and it's just some man on the phone who talks in a, a very thick Russian accent, uh, who's like, are, are you Mr. Zetsobo? Yeah, that'd be me. He's like, uh, we, we, uh, we here on, on behalf of, uh, Vladimir Kromel, uh, we are your ride to go to the, the gym to go fight Mr. Mr. Kromel. It's fine, I've got my own ride. You can tell. He's like, there's like, there's like a, a couple seconds of silence, and then they're like, "We are waiting," and then just click. They just hang up on you. I'm gonna open up a comms with uh, <clears throat> bonus and uh, Mr. Oid. Uh, make me a luck check to see if bonus answers. <laughs> well, it's the day of the fight. I'd really hope he answers. Yes, but the question is. Does Bonus actually care? Yes. Uh, he, hey. Uh, the very last ring does pick up. <laughs> Mr. Hey, uh, guess what? It's fight night. Uh, bonus is just like, okay. All right, meet me there. Gotcha. And he, you know, hangs up. <sighs> Alright, open it up with Andrew. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, the night's the night. 
Ah, indeed it is. I so will you have your odds. Indeed, I shall have them prepared. Very good. I'll see you there. Click. Nice. All right. So you know, it takes like a, a few minutes for everybody to to kind of you know, get ready and stuff, and uh, you know, Cairo he leaves as he gets ready, gets on his bike, he you know goes to the address that we stumbled upon, Mr. Chroma last time, the sleazy Russian bar in the middle of like the the dead zone. Mm. And uh, so you know, we like. like one of the worst neighborhoods you can get to uh, in this like district of the city. Um, and uh, you pull up out front of this bar. Uh, this is like, like the sign is hanging off of its hinges and it's... So I've terrible. also posted to my social medias that this is where I'll be tonight. Oh, great. Roll me percentile dice. All right. Seventy-three. All right, so seventy-three of your followers have arrived, and they're all waiting outside, and they're all some of them are like have hired bodyguards, <laughs> yeah. and like accompanied by like you know big burly men in black suits and stuff, um, like armed people they've hired off the street for protection. Um, some like many of them have like little drones, got their phones out, recording everything, and they they cheer as they see you approach, um, and the the black SUV of. Uh, mobsters whose affiliation you do not do not yet know um they uh they also get out of their, their car have to follow you from your apartment um and uh they, they like see all the, the yeah. crowd prepared they, they just kind of like you just hear them like like sigh and like be like all right whatever um and then they follow you in and in the bar there is off to the left side of the, the building well i guess like it's like initial room is uh just like the, the bar counter and a couple of tables and some booths. Um, it is a windowless bar, except for the, mm. the one window to, to the right of the doorway. Um, and uh, on, the, on the right side of the, 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 the room, there is the, uh, like, uh, a, a circle of, like, couch cushions and, like, mattresses and random semi-soft items of furniture have been, like, stacked on top of each other to form, like, a little, like, platformed, like, fighting arena. Mm. Super, 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 super sketchy. Um, and the, the ropes are literally just, like, ropes. They're not, like, bungee cord or anything like they usually are. Um, okay. There's a, so so I would have gone through, like, a couple of more, like, training and... You know, practicing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you you kept practicing and stuff on your on your own. Yep. Um, All right. Yeah. I'm ready. All right. So shortly after you walk in, um, uh, a large, uh, you know, large in in, in overweightness, uh, like short short fat guy walks over to you. He has like. Uh, a data slate in, in one arm. And he looks over at the data slate, looks over at you, and he goes, Ah, you must be uh, Mr. Pharaoh then? Mm. He's like, Yes, yeah. He's like, My my uh, employers have been looking forward to this match for a week now. He's like, So don't disappoint them. He's like, Come this way. And he leads you into like a back room that's been turned into like a makeshift locker room. Okay. Where there are like half a dozen uh, well muscled uh, Russian people. Russian and dudes. then there's just this one skinny Egyptian dude. Yeah, yeah, always really, really big buff, uh, like super heavily chromed out uh, Russian guys, like you know, taking the combat stimulants and jacking themselves up and working out or, you know, like playing in their phones or something, talking with each other, and then you're yeah. you're, you're, you're there. Uh, I never readjusted my arms back, so I'm at the same point that I was last time. Yeah, so, you know, the, this, like, bookie is what he is. Uh, he leads yeah. you back here, and he's like, Dad, do you want to put a bet on yourself? You know what? Yeah. Give me a thousand on me. He's like, oh, big spender, okay. And he, uh, you know, you see him, like, tip-tapping away on his little tablet. 
Um, and then he's like, all right, well, uh, somebody will be in to get you in, you know, like 20 minutes or whatever. All right. Are uh, Bonus and uh, Oid going to come back here? Uh, well, they can try, but they won't be allowed. <laughs> all right. Well, then I'm just going to start taping up my joints. Uh, yeah, so you, you go about that. Uh, you, funnily enough, you don't see your your competitor. He is not in this locker room with you. Don't tell me he got cold feet. And uh, so outside, uh, Mr. Oid and and Bonus uh, walk out or walk into the the room. Uh, you know, Bonus looks around. Uh, and it's it's it is, it is palpable the suspicion that he has. For this for this establishment, he's obviously like, mm, this is a super super sketch. <laughs> uh, uh, so so does he come up with like this like the tiny stool and like the water bottle? Uh, I think I think there is like a stool like already at the corner, uh, and the book he walks over and he's like, oh, you must be, you know, Mister Bonus and stuff. Uh, and the the bookie is like visibly intimidated by being near bonus um and bonus <laughs> is like yeah i'm his coach and he's like oh uh, uh of, co- of course sir right this way and he leads him over and they get the stool there and bonus has like the the, the filled water bottle and stuff and he, he bought his own because he didn't want to he didn't want to trust the <laughs> nonsense that they are selling in this establishment um, he brought his own yeah mm-hmm. and uh in the, the bookie uh, asks both bonus who will not put a bet on you because because he doesn't feel confident. Uh, wow! Ask, ask, wow! Ask Mr. Wow! Oid if uh, if Mr. Oid would like to place a bet on either of the competitors. Uh, I'll put five hundred on Cairo. See, Oid's a real friend. Alrighty, I am marking these bets down. So so far, we've got fifteen hundred on me. Yes, I'm just gonna. Would there be, like, would my fans bet, like, 20, 30? I've got 73, so I'd say 7 D100s. Uh, say yeah, sure. Seven give, me, give me 7 D100s. Out of, out of the 73, how much do they all pool together on me? Yeah. 6. 7. Seven hundred. Imagine. Jesus. Four hundred and forty. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. That actually wouldn't be a bad turnout. That wouldn't be. So yeah, the, the bookie's going around. He's you know clipping everything. Bonus is uh, you know preparing the the location. Mister Roy doing anything special? He's just gonna sit down and like at one of the tables nearby. He just kind of like watch. Well, I, I do want have Andrew in my corner. <laughs> I mean, he can be wherever he wishes to be, whether it be in your corner or not. Well, I do have, you know, something to give him. So, this is true. Well, that is true. Uh, in the days before the fight, I would have, you know, whipped up those of Buster and a <laughs> dose of whisper, and you know, as I approach Cairo, you know, I have each of them in hand, and I'm like, "So, my friend, <clears throat> in life, in philosophy, <laughs> there are two ways to win a fight. <clears throat> I hold up one, a good offense, and the other, a good defense." <laughs> 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 he, he holds up um, two like vial, like two needles, basically, like like closed needles of strange-looking fluid. Uh, what does each of them do? So, uh, you want me to just read them verbatim? Sure. Yes, please. All right. So, Buster um, has incoming damage, increases strength stat by two, lowers endurance stat by three. Uh, side effects include damage to bones, tendons, muscles, and the cardiovascular systems. Intended to last for 30 minutes, 
Uh, side effects have a minimum 10% chance of incurring that increases with additional physical activity and may lead to permanent bodily harm. That's a big risk. <laughs> Whisper, um, advantage to dodge, plus two to initiative, can't be surprised. Uh, side effects are nervous system damage, uh, intense paranoia, and hallucinations. Lasts for one hour. Ha side effects have a 20% chance of occurring. May be permanent if you get addicted. And I also have, like, my custom serums, but those are less potent. Yeah. Oh, I really want to have my incoming damage, but I also want that guaranteed dodge. You I mean, you can take both, but other than that'll be a 30% chance that something goes horribly wrong with you. So... <laughs> That's a chance I'm willing to take. <laughs> you want to take both combat stimulants. Is what you're, is what you're telling me right now. Okay, well, hold on. Wait, get... I think that's what I'm selling you. Okay, well, I'm going to make a note of, uh, like, effect. Okay, so you're... If you take both like a madman um your so damage is halved my incoming damage yes yeah strength plus two uh endurance minus... i mean i'm not gonna get addicted to them this is like a one-time deal yeah. i'm only using them this time and then whisper I am hoping to end this within the first round. Fancy dodge rolls plus two to initiative. Uh, is there anything that can like, like, is there is there like Narcan? Do we have an equivalent of Narcan? You mean like like anti addiction drugs? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm gonna take that after the fight. I believe I have all of the current ongoing effects. Advantage to dodge plus two to initiative. That sounds about right. Yeah, and damage is incoming damage is halved and strength strength goes up and nice. damage drops. Nice. Nice. So if he if he hits me for ten, that's five. So I need you to roll me two D ten uh separately. <laughs> roll for side effects, yay. Okay. Five and a six. So nothing goes wrong. Oh, yes! You do manage to, uh, not... Take these anything. drugs successfully. Yeah. So, uh, so, so you know, uh, Cairo walks out onto the ring after, like, you know, 20 minutes or up or whatever, and he walks over and just stabs him with these two needles. Uh, riddles him with drugs. And, uh, you, you feel with <coughs> the buster... You feel your like even your bionics feel like they're they're getting like like tenser and like stronger and your your vision gets like wobbly and like red and you your adrenaline gets pumping and your heart races and your you know all sorts of horrible things go wrong um, and then when you take the, the second one um, like color it's like super intense the lights get more intense um, like every kind of little motion gets like super super intense so like, your eyes are always darting around and like, you can see like little dust particles move in front of your face and, like your eyes track where they're going and stuff and you're paying attention to like, every little thing at once and it's really crazy and it feels really weird it's totally fine yeah not really like a high so much as it is just like these are combat stims used to do things for combat so <coughs> perfect uh, but I will subtract the price for uh, these drugs from Mr. Oid's uh, total. So that's seven hundred uh, and oh yeah, before the fight, what's the odds looking like? Roll percentile dice. And would he do this at advantage? No. Because I've got now the stims. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I mean, the stims. Yeah, that's a good point. Eighty-four. Ooh. Ooh. 
that's definitely higher than last time. I'm yeah, liking these odds. Well, you did get, you know, training for for a week and stuff, and you're now completely blasted mm-hmm. on, you know, multiple... Combat stems. Combat drug, yeah. A military-grade combat drug, by the way. Military-grade so. combat <laughs> yeah. How How Mr. Oid managed to cook this in his basement, we don't really know, but don't question him. Uh, he will not provide an answer. <laughs> So, All right. I mean, if you didn't trust me to do this, you shouldn't have asked. Yeah. No, I know. True. I, I trust him. I trust him. That's what real friends do. Bonus. What, bonus can't make combat stims in his in his apartment. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in my corner and just ready. Okay. So you know, a few more minutes uh, passes. Uh, eventually, you do see your challenger, uh, who approaches, um, and uh, you know he's he's got like the the boxer's like silk like robe covering him and stuff like the hood on. So I've shown you that scene from uh, which McCullough, right? Uh, Snatch. Yeah. Where they're yeah, yeah. where they're in the boxing ring and he's just sitting there with like his like his hands clenched and his like no shirt. It's got like all the tattoos showing and everything. Yeah, I'm just doing that and staring into the other corner. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you're, you're, you know, staring at at him through the corner. He, you know, walks underneath the the ropes and stuff and removes the the robe. And he has like uh, a really well dressed guy in like a, a bright white suit with like a bunch of rings on his fingers and like a big. Uh, like a gold, like gold teeth, and like, you know, like a really, really fancy, like gold cybernetic eye. Yeah. In his corner, coaching him, and uh, you know this this dude, he's muscular, but he's not like ridiculously built. Um, yeah. His, his bionic arms are, they, they do look relatively like cheaply made or like like repaired a lot. Um, mm. And he has like like cloth bandages with like leather wraps around the bionic hands. Um, you know, that that fine Russian large mustache and goatee going on. Yeah. And uh, so he, uh, you know, gets in his corner, and then the, the Bucky, the Bucky, who is now wearing a referee shirt uh, over his, like, tattered robes, <laughs> he, he walks out onto the ring, and he, like, clacks, like, the bell, and he's like, ladies and gentlemen, you know, welcome to... So while he's doing the introduction, I'm going to lean over to Bonus and remember what I told you. If he tries anything funny, shoot him. Uh, I'm going to make a check for somebody else. Let's see. Dang it. That's fine. So, <laughs> yeah, so you say that in Bonus. Uh, he, like, moves his, like, armor <laughs> trench coat to the side, and you can see that his pistol is still like, tucked in the, the, the underarm holster. All right, I'm gonna stand up and like start, like shadow boxing and like bouncing around and stuff. Still looking at him, like I am eyeing down the threat. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, you're 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 doing that. You're you know, bobbing and weaving, shadow boxing. He's just like walking around his part of the ring and like tossing his hands up and like yelling in the the, the crowd that's not from your social media account is like cheering him on and stuff and. Uh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, to see how much money was bet on Mr. Cronel. If I win, this is gonna be a clear out. We got four hundred and ninety. Wow, there's not much going. I thought this was going to be a bit bigger of a fight. All right. No wait, one thousand, thousand five hundred. Four forty, and then okay. his his side of the ring put in almost almost uh, one and a half thousand on uh, Mr. Cromwell. Oh, okay, okay. So almost. So what's the total? Figures. So the total. What's our total? Thousand, five thousand five hundred, thousand one hundred forty. So that's. Two thousand eight hundred, no, nine hundred and thirty. That'd be like a little over three thousand, I think. I think so. 
Wait, wait, hold on. Let's uh, take this. 1,900. Plus. 14. 3,390. Yeah. So, that's the total money you will win if you do win. Uh, and the yes. money you will lose if you do lose. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, so the crowd has been, been worked up sufficiently. And uh, eventually, you know, so the, the intro ends and uh, the bookie is like, in the blue corner, we have, you know, first timer, uh, Pharaoh. And then, like, your your crowd cheers. Bonus is not. He doesn't care. Uh, can Mr. Oid cheer at all? I will clap and I will whistle. Wow, I'm surprised. Um, what a friend. <laughs> what a real friend. The robot has what a pal. Than the, than the human. Um, and Morale then, increases odds. It does. It does. Um, bonus is not caring about who wins this. I'm just going to slowly hold up like one arm. Yeah, so you, you do that. Um, and then the bookie's like, and then in the right corner we have reigning champion Vladimir Cromwell. And then like his coach, she's like, yeah. And then, you know, the, the normal, regular patrons that didn't come here from a social media post, uh, they all start cheering and stuff. And it's like, all right. Like, you know, when the bell starts, you know, want a good, clean fight, yada, 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 and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the fight. The fight right. begins. Roll <clears throat> initiative. I get a bonus to this. You get a plus two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Got a six. Plus six. So you got an, I guess, an 11. Seven! Plus two. So a, My agility is five. 14. 14 up in here. So the bell, you know, ding, ding, ding. And uh, you, are, you are first to surge forward into the fray. Uh, all right. <clears throat> I'm coming up. I'm going to disguise my right hand by keeping my left hand out a bit more and uh, come right up into the nose. All right. He can dodge. Yes. He is. Go to what he does. Who'd have thought? He, that, he, you still punch him. Son of a guy. Yeah! Didn't have time to get all, right. all that enough boss and stuff, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, so what would I roll for damage here? Because I am on combat stems. So uh, well, I've got a plus... I've got a plus two to my strength uh, so that stat. That means you do... Two... Okay, plus two to your strength stat. And you have a ten yeah. strength. So no, I'm at... My strength is five. Let me see. Let me, let me look at this. It should be eight because you're bionic. Seven. Arms. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you're effectively acting like you're to ten right now. Um, so you would hit two D one hundred. Yeah, like two D one hundred. Thank you, Android. Android. I always deliver. Eighty. <laughs> You do, you know, get him a little bit on the jaw. I'm gonna hide his health from you. Dang it! But the the audience will get to see how screwed you are. So you did what? Eighty damage? Yeah. Yeah. Eighty. Imagine that that was a fifty. Nice. Um. So you yes yeah, so you 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 surge forwards and you just poof, right in the chin. Um. He's gonna come right back at you uh, with uh, uh, a nice nice jab. Alright. Time. Oh, you get advantage. I get, yeah, I get advantage. God, I, I can't be surprised. So I also can't be surprised. It's impossible to hit you. Whoa! So, you know, sure enough, he, uh, he, he pushes forward, and you with your super, super heightened senses you just kind of like catch and like deflect his 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 fist as it comes towards you. Uh, as I as I deflect it, 
I'm gonna give him a nice stern uppercut right into the gut. Alright, he can. He can dodge. Can he, though? Yes. So, you, you, you parry this, and you go for the, the counter, and you know, he parries your counter to his parry. Uh, and he's gonna, he's gonna uh, counter the, the parry to your counter. Whatever. Um, <laughs> he's going to reply to your counter to his parry by, you know, just like haymakering you with like a nice left hook. So he thinks. Yeah. So give me that All right. dodge. Vantage on the dodge. <laughs> you are very, very lucky, man. So you barely managed to dodge out of the way. This haymaker like gives you a haircut real quick. You're just like, oh, and he's... and uh, yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, so he he tried to haymaker me right to the head, right? Yeah. All right. Well, it's time to time to try and come back. With that jab right to the kidneys, or a uh, hook right to the kidneys. Alright, it worked for you with the robot that one time, so let's see. Can he, can he dodge this? <clears throat> wow. Yeah, he did. So, he, so you, you go up towards him, and this time, this guy, he's obviously better trained than the robot. Uh, so he just like, like sidesteps your, your driving uppercut, your driving punch. Uh, and he's going to return by roundhouse kicking you in the face. Dodge at advantage. Let's go. Let's go, Cairo. Oh! <laughs> Cutting it real close. So he goes right kick in the face, and you, you use your momentum and, like, just barely manage to, like, bring your left arm up to block the kick. Oh! Like, your fist gets caught on his ankle. And like you hear like the grind of metal against metal because his leg is also bionic, and he just like you just like get forced to the side and like fall to the ground and like roll to your feet again, as uh this the force of this dude kicking you in the side of the head. All right, I'm gonna try this again. All right. All righty. I'm gonna I'm gonna move up, fake a kick, but uh come across with a hook because it worked well last time. All right, make me a charisma check to convince this guy that you are. Faking. Oh! <laughs> All right. So give me the actually. Oh, he'll, he'll dodge, dodge a disadvantage. Yeah. Let's see. He does still what? To survive. What? So you. Oh my God! No, that should not be allowed. He just. You win a disadvantage. So right is like you think you get him with this because like for a second. Like, he, he sees the kick coming, he full-on goes to block the kick, and you're like, ah, I got him. And then, like, in a split-second reflex maneuver, he brings up and, like, brings his arm in, like, a, a a nice, solid block and, like, ducks his head out of the way. And your your fist, like, grazes the side of his head as it, like, takes, like, a little cut in the side of his temple as he's, like, his arm is just fast enough to just... And he is going to reply with... A big old, big old jab. Right to your, your chin. Oh! You and these, you and these <laughs> bear grazes, my guy. So, he, so you, you threw that So haymaker. I like, as he like comes in with the haymaker, I like lean my head back. I'm going to try and do the same thing the robot did. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, he's going to, he can dodge this. Uh, I'm, do I'm doing a headbutt. Oh. oh my god. So, so you go for the headbutt, and hmm, how would you how would you even dodge a headbutt? I'm just trying to, I don't know, because I was going to go along the lines of, like, I grab his head and, like, headbutt him. Well, that's a grapple, which is something different. Yeah, I know. If you, you want to grapple him, then you have to make an agility versus his strength. Okay, fine. So. I get agility at advantage, though. <laughs> Then add your agility. I'll add his strength. So he got he got a sixteen in total. I get a plus two. My oh wait, 
Oh, that was going to be a 9. 5 and 5 is 10. You have a plus your... So you got a few, oh, wait. Okay, so you... You have a... So you're your agility. So you have a agility of 5. I get the plus 2 to initiative. Yeah, so you get a 10. He gets a 16. So you you go out and like, grab the side of his head, like, like straight up just, like, drive your heads together, uh, and he manages to, like, worm his way out of your grasp as you go to, like, grab it, like, slips underneath your arms, and just, like, whoop. All right, cool. And he's going it's to... It's his turn now. Yeah, he's going to reply by just... Just, just like, taking advantage of your, your position and just, like, poof, punching you right to the to the face. Oh no, he's not. So he, he so you're you're still leaned back, and he goes to punch you. He just kind of lean back farther, and like his face misses you. Okay, I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna maneuver around his arm, and uh, right punch just straight into the sternum. Ooh, okay, he can diggity dodge. No. no! No! So he, so he goes to, to punch you in the you go punch him in the chest, and he just like grabs your hand, like as like like a millimeter before it reaches you. He grabs it and like moves out of the way, and like lets go of your hand. He is he is sportsmanship like enough to to let go of your hand. And his turn is going to he's going to uh, try to box your ears and stun you. So you can dodge this. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Discombobulate. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, discombobulate. Discombobulate. So you do that, and you just like duck underneath his, his hands, and he catches some of your hair in his hands, and you barely dodge out of the way. So it's just like, clap. <laughs> discombobulate. Discombobulate. And uh, you manage to dodge. And, uh, All right. Yeah. Uh... I'm going to I'm going to like go in forward and hit him with an elbow. All right. Let's see. I swear, I swear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! He's going to get a counter as well. Uh, so oh, he's going to counter. No. He, he can do that. He can he can Can counter. I dodge this? Um you can dodge it. Well, you had the reaction still. So yes, theoretically you can dodge this. Can I counter counter? his counter? Um, You never learned how to do that. You didn't receive training for that. You do manage to dodge. So you you throw this this punch, and he like... Elbow. Yeah, he blocks it and goes right for like a a rib shot. And you manage to like block the rib shot last second. Uh, And it is still his turn though, because that was a reaction of his. So he is going to try to... Well, I think he knows that you're stronger than him at this point. He's not gonna try to grapple you. He's gonna try to punch you in the face. You can't do anything else. Oh no! You get punched. You get you get walloped. All right. It wouldn't be as bad though. Yeah. I have that. So you get you, you do twenty damage. All right. So he does. He does. You know, clock you in the jaw a little bit, but you you do manage to to you know you're you're mostly unfazed. You might see like a single star, but like you know who cares? Um. All right, I'm uh. Huh. Now here's the dilemma. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. So as he gets me, uh, I'm gonna play with that, and uh, which I call it. After he hits me, uh, I'm gonna use that act like I'm stunned and like stumbling closer. Mm-hmm. But like as I get closer to him, I'm gonna like uh, keep one hand up and like hook him in the uh, in the side and the kidneys. All right, so make me a charisma check to <laughs> perform this maneuver. All right. I'm going to use this die. Oh, that's my die. Actually, no. That's going to that's gonna jinx me. This is, this is, this is, this is the evil dice. Oh! 
Let's go, Charisma of seven. Right, so he will dodge at disadvantage. He got a it's still a pass. Oh my god. So you, you once again you try to fake him out, you stumble forwards, like for acting really, really well. Acting like you're just like, oh, oh, they like confused. And then you like you like limp towards him and as you limp you like throw out a jab. But he did, he saw it coming, he just like, you know, parries out of the way and steps back and avoids it. Uh, this is He's going to uh no, This while is you're, ridiculous. As you're, as you're coming out of your your fake stupor, he's going to try to just like uppercut you in the chin. It's not gonna work. Ooh. Oh. Very lucky. Oh. You do manage to like, you know, jump backwards right as he just Now now I'm angry. I'm coming in with my own uppercut. <laughs> Alright, he can he can dodge, let's see. If he doesn't get a one. Oh that's almost a one. But no, he does manage to avoid it. You can you're, you're countering uppercut and he just you know, steps away again, he's just like, no way. I'm gonna try and start working him into a corner. Okay. Alright, I'm rolling my dodge now. Oh. Alright, so as you try to, like, start, like, working him, like, some fancy footwork trying to drag him into a corner, uh, he does manage to catch you in the side of the head with, like, a jab. Uh, but you know, no, 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 no big deal. Forty more damage. So that, that that does more. That hurts a little bit more than uh, the first one did. But you know. So still... as soon as his punch connects, I'm throwing my own hook to the side of his head. All right, he can. So while he's still punching me, I'm reaching over his arm and punching him, so... while his arm is still there. So you go to you punch. So he punches you, and you punch at him, and he just kind of like. I swear! <laughs> Give him a disadvantage on that one. No. <laughs> I have his arm here. There is nowhere he can go. He can duck. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that round one knockout. Uh... I lost track of the rounds too, like a while ago, so I'm just like, keep going. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you throw this immediate counter, and his eyes go wide before he just like drops and just like takes his own arm with him, of course. So he is now like knees to chest, and, like had to, had to full go limp sort of to avoid getting punched across the face. Um,. But he's now going to drive his legs upwards and attempt to uh, punch you in the gut. He doesn't. He does not. So you, he launches forwards. You just like sidestep him as he does. So as I sidestep him, he's lunging forward, right? Yes. I'm gonna connect a knee to his stomach. All right. Well, this will count. Would usually probably count as a counter. Um. With this entire thing has been counters. Well, that's true. It's been entirely counters. It's just one long chain of counters. Um, technically, well, if it's a counter, he can't dodge. Yes. So yeah. This is a simplistic counter. Yeah. So just deal the one hundred damage. Deal one. Deal one. Two. Deal one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're you're hyped up. Thirty and six. Oh yes. He's now down to a number. He looks... So you, you get him in the knee. You hear every bit the sudden exhale. And like the, the, the saliva that flies from his mouth as he gets caught off guard. He stumbles forward a little bit. But he looks still more or less fine. Um, not quite as confident as he was a couple minutes ago. A couple seconds ago. But, you know, still certainly... Does the bell ring? Um, yeah, sure. I'll say at this point the, the, the bell... Has ring. Do I have my drone there? So I can at least, you know, replenish up in between rounds? That would be considered cheating. <laughs> would it, though? Yes. <laughs> Alright, fine. 
All right, yeah, so I'm going to go back to my corner. All right, I see you go back over to, to, to your corner. And uh, your bonus is there, and he's just like, not as easy as I was going to be, huh? I'm just going to look at him and stare daggers. <laughs> and he just like like wiggles the, the bottle of water in front of your face. And I, I'm like, open my mouth. He just like, you know, gives you a, gives you a couple of good squirts there. Uh, what, how, what is Mr. Oid's reaction in the crowd now? Um, I stare at the fight, unblinking as I always do, and I think to myself, hmm, perhaps I miscalculated. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a few good hits. But it's like, yeah, yeah, you definitely seem to put him put him uh, down to what I will say is basically half health is what he's at right now. So Good. You, you certainly hurt harmed him um, as as you are harmed as well. I basically did like a hundred damage. Yeah. I did a hundred and almost fifty, right? It's one hundred forty total. One hundred and forty total. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I've done as much damage as I am worth right now. <laughs> yes. Um, and, uh, so, the, you know, a couple more seconds passes, and then the, the bell rings, and Mr. Oi's there with his, like, bag of sketchy popcorn, uh, eating. He didn't even necessarily have to eat, but he does. Uh, <coughs> Alright, re-rolling initiative. Yeah, re-rolling the initiative. Three. Oh! Well, it's almost close. So you, you have... A plus two, it's a five. You still got a ten. Still pretty good. But I go after him. And he got an eleven. So he does manage. Yeah, it's the same as last round. Yeah, because I roll really weird for the initiative today. I've only gotten elevens. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the, the bell rings, and this time, you know, he he see him like seeing your your morale is kind of low, and you kind of get tired. He, he, you know, he lunges forwards, and he's going to start off with the discombobulate. Stop. Just stop. Hey, man. Just stop. That's the meme. That's, that's the meme. Please, get, get all fours. Dang it. Get out of here with that. So you manage to, like, duck underneath his, his arms as he claps above you. Uh, I'm, I'm down low, you know. I'm I'm punching the gut. All right, let's see. Can this dice keep rolling well? Yes, apparently. <laughs> you want me to lose? Uh, so so you you know lunge forwards up again, and you know he just like lunges backwards equally fast, and you just kind of both just like end up in the same position, just that now you're like a yard backwards from where you previously were. So my morale has kicked up again or kicked back up i'm ready i've got murder in my eyes so he's just gonna try to like see him and you lunge forward he's gonna try to like knee you in the face like knee him like the jaw um, but you can't dodge wow get that out of there jesus double tense all right yeah, so, Can so, I come back with a perfect counter? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you counter this. I'll let you counter this one for free. Okay. So as he uh, as he tries to knee me, I uh, skirt off to the side and deliver a firm hook right into the stomach. All right, give me those two D one hundred. That's another 90. I need to do some quick maths. All right. Is he looking worse for wear? Yeah, no, he's definitely looking pretty bad. Uh, you, he's you got know, 70 health you, left. Yeah, you slam into the side of his head, and he, he likes, like, his like eyes go like like cross-eyed for a second. He like stumbles over a little bit. He's like, ugh. He like leans against the rope of the ring and like bounces back. Is going to try to like leaping like sidekick you basically. Um, so I don't know, you know how this would work mechanically. Um, 
Oh yeah, I'll give so you he, I'll, I'll give you advantage because like this is so a very telegraphed attack. <laughs> he's he's off balance, right? Well, he is currently trying to um, like bounce off the ropes with like flying sidekick, basically. Okay, so he's in the air. Yeah. There's really not many places he can go for this. And you just barely managed to dodge out of the way as like so, his, his foot like over your head. You just like while he's in the air, I'm gonna like rush him and deliver try to deliver a punch straight to his face. Alright. Hmm. How would this work? I'm gonna have him let the dodge at disadvantage. Because he is in midair. Let's see. Wow. Oh, no. oh so, yeah. Deal double damage. Let's see if how bad you can kill this poor man. Well, actually, I should ask first. Before you roll, before you roll, um, do you want to, to knock him Don't out, count or that. do you want to kill him? Honestly, I want him to get knocked out. Okay, because if it's, if it's, yeah, non-lethal damage is guaranteed, guaranteed not to kill him. <laughs> okay, cool. Three, that, would have, that would have one shot him at full health. Why did couldn't it end the first punch, huh, buddy? Jesus. All right, so so he on this, this epic final punch, he's jumping, side kicking you. You sidestep him, so, and you're so you're as, fist down as he him and just... as he as he like jumps up with the kick in the air, his foot sideways, he's sideways. I drag his foot in and deliver this punch. And you just like slam his jaw, his his teeth shatter and break, and like his jaw gets like just liquefied, basically. And your fist like slits his nose and breaks his nose and cuts his face open, and like the whole like left side of his face right now is busted up, it's all cut up and horribly mangled. And he lands like his kick was so super gracious. And then when you punch him, he lands like a sack of potatoes. It's like. Boom, gone. So, like, like at this point, like, the, the, the cut on my lip and, like, the blood in my mouth would have, like, come back. So I'm just going to, like, spit it out on the side and then walk back to my corner. So you walk back, and it is dead quiet in, in this room. Your fans are shocked because, one, you, you basically permanently crippled this man, okay? Like, you destroyed his jaw. So he's going to need to replace <laughs> him for that. Um, you probably damaged his eye socket too, which is pretty funny. Um, and like his coach, the really, really, really rich looking, like fat cat over in his corner, his, his jaw is like on the ground. He just like, uh, his eyes twitching in like anger. <laughs> his like forehead vein is bulging. And, uh, so I'm gonna, like, I'm like panting a little out of breath as I like collapse back into the stool. As he comes back in the, the, the bookie, he comes back into the ring, and so. <laughs> The two two big burly Russian guys they grab uh, Kromo by the, the ankles, like drag him out of the ring. Head first, they don't care. Yeah. And uh, the he lost. Guy, he, yeah, comes back in and he rings the bell and he's like, "We have a winner." He's like, "For the first time in several years, we have a new champion." And then he like, "I'm gonna I'm gonna stand back up." So yes, you stand uh, up and he he uh like grabs your arm, raises it above your head, and he's like the new new reigning champion of this bar <laughs> oh, is uh uh is Pharaoh. And your your fans go wild and stuff and they're, they're Is there a like, general like, outrage among the general patrons of the bar? Yeah, yeah, like the, the normal patrons are like, Oh my god, what is this? cheater and stuff you know that was a dirty move they're yelling all russian russian curses and, and slurs at you fair and square and uh yeah bonus i said <clears throat> i i did say the terms of this fight were no cybernetic enhancements or abilities so i won get butt hurt nerds <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the, the other patrons are still disgruntled. Uh, and the bookie, he hands you the, the large wad of, of cash. Um, and he leads you back into the, the locker room, uh, triumphant, so you can get your, your stuff and get, like, a heel, basically. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, both Andrew and a uh, bonus two hundred collars each, because I feel it's fair. I need to pay Andrew for the uh, stimulants, you know. As, okay. as like as like a thank you okay. for you guys coming and sticking with me. So you give each of us two hundred. Yeah. Right, so you still get three thousand thirty collars out of this deal. Yeah. It did cost Mr. Oid like over a thousand bucks to, to make those drugs, but I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, you don't know that. You don't know how that works. Um. And and you know, bonus, he got money for not making any bets. Yeah, because you know he came he came through. He he showed up. You know he was he was like my coach. Yeah, uh, Mr. Oid, because well, okay, so hold on. I mean, let me let me let me think of this. Okay. Actual actual betting, Mr. Oi would get a thousand because he corrected, you know, he guessed correctly. So you would still make your money back. Yeah. More or less. Um, and you would get Pharaoh would get two thousand to two plus one four nine zero. So yes, yeah, so you 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 still get like three and a half thousand collars. Yeah. So I will give you that money. So I didn't kill him this time. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. crippled him yeah, you horribly. Permanently, permanently crippled him. And uh, yeah, I think uh, as as you get in the locker room, you know, like a group of like seven like armed. Gangster thugs walk into the into the back of the locker room, and there's like the the rich fat cat dude leading them, and he walks over, and he's really like fat fingered, heavily ringed hand. Uh, Is he smoking a cigar? Yeah, he got a big old cigar, and he snaps Max's hand on your shoulder, and he's like, "Good," and then he walks away (laughs) (laughs) because he's speaking English, so you know. He just says "good." Yeah. mm Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't ask me to. Hey, you wanna take up a promotion? Uh, no. But you know, I think I think when when he walks in, he he like tells you like good, and he's like follow me, and then he like like the goons like grab you by the arms and bring you out into the alleyway. Um, and alley alleyway is Mr. Cromwell lying barely conscious, uh, like bleeding all over the, the asphalt. And they hand you an unmarked uh, plastic gun and tell you to shoot Mr. Cromwell in the face. I'm going to look at the gun, and then I'm going to look at Cromwell. He is not lucid at the moment and cannot plead for his own life. <laughs> his face is... Now I know I'm going to regret this. And then I'm going to shoot the fat guy right in the face. You're going to shoot the fat guy right in the face. Oh my god. Well, this is a coup de, coup de, coup de gras, and he is a civilian. So uh, I see... Real. You know, really take it up by suggestion to, you know, make a new enemy in every corporation. Hey, yeah, you know really. what? You know what? Cromwell gave me a good fight. He was honorable. Well, these guys are Crimson Crescent anyway, so... No I don't way. care. Just... Damn, not this new. Guy, yeah. This guy is not honorable. If I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him on his feet. So you just, like, look at the gun, look at the guy, look at the gun, look at Cromwell, look at the gun. And you look at the guy again, and you just, like... Ch- and he blasts this dude's face off, and uh, roll initiative for me now. <laughs> I'm still on combat stims, right? Uh, yes, yes, we'll still be on on combat stims. Nice. So this is happening in like the the back room, right? <laughs> this is in the alleyway behind the building, so you would hear the gunshot. Ah, okay. <laughs> Just ask. I got I got the four. The enemies get. An eight. I get a plus two still. You get a plus two, so you get a six, plus five, you get an eleven. Uh, bonus, heard the gunshot, so he's going to come and help you. Let's see. He gets twelve initiative. Oh, you get twelve. Alright. And then bonus. I'm at full health though. Yeah, because they healed you up before <clears throat> they wanted you to commit murder. 
It's totally fine. It's totally fine. I wasn't going to kill Cromwell. Like, why would I do that? Right, My so. choices were either toss the gun to the side or shoot the fat guy right in the face. <laughs> so, uh, up first is the enemies and bonus who act at the same time. So, uh, bonus is going to spend his turn charging out, uh, t- out like past the uh, barging past the boogie and out the back door. So, he, as he like arrives in the alleyway by kicking the door down, uh, I'm going to roll one d6 see how many goose followed you outside. It's just one. It's three. Three. That's, that's okay, cool. Um, so two of the guys uh, are going to just try to, uh, like, punch you. You can dodge one. Oh, 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 how cute. And the last guy, he's going to, he pulls out a knife. He's going to try to just, like, shank you. Oh, cute. So you can dodge one I of can, these three. I can... I, I'm going to, I think I'm going to dodge the knife. Really? You think so? You sure about that? Alright, yeah, roll the advantage for the knife dodge. Wow! Okay. Ugh. Okay. So this still only does 1d100 damage because they aren't, like, bionic. So you take fifty half of that. Of that to 25. twenty-five. Yes, you're down to one seventy-five. So he like he like scrapes like my shoulder. Well, he, like, he, like, he, he like digs into like your your like you know your back basically like like, like your shoulder blade up top. No, no, he comes in with like a swiping attack. Mm, like carves a little bit of your your back muscle off, but you're, you like lunge forward a little bit and turn it on them all. You know, still wild-eyed and horrifying. Um, next up is Fixer. Alrighty, well, into the alley I go. All right, yeah. So your your whole turn is spent uh, running out to the the alleyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on some action music now. Ah, right. uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, loop song. Yes. So, bam. He's he's booking it after after bonus, Pharaoh. Who do you murder first? Uh, who's close to me? Well, they're all basically in melee with you, um, but one of them has a knife. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna pummel the knife guy. <laughs> all right, he can dodge this, but his dodge is pretty bad. Yep, he definitely failed. Ho, oh. oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, oh, cute. Yep, you kill him. You just <laughs> turn around like you, you like. I think no. I think what you do is he has the knife like ready to point it at you, and you like jam your hand onto the knife and bend the blade, and like grab his hand over the knife, and you like headbutt him, and like snap his neck and like smush his face in, basically like bash his skull in with your your like super jacked up. <laughs> it's like, you just like punch him a couple times, and he's like, his like face is just like red mashed potatoes. Um, so my hand is now covered in blood. Oh yeah, and uh, up next is bonus and the two enemies. Bonus draws draw pistol, fires at guy to your right. He got a six to pass. This does three d hundred damage, I believe. Possibly. I believe it's three. No, it's four. I lied. Uh, he kills him. So, <laughs> and went right through like the neck, just and he, the, the guy's like, and he you know stumbles over sideways. Uh, next is Fixer. You're out in the alleyway. There's one guy left alive, and Cromwell, and your companions. Cool. I shoot. Give me a perception. E, 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 e. Seven. Pass. Nice. Uh, 80 damage. Ooh, all right, I need to make a check for him to see if he remains conscious or not. He's dead. Oh. 
he, he, he's, he's dead? Yeah, he, ble he bleeds out, basically. Oh, I was gonna say, can he, like, go unconscious? Because I'm just gonna snap his neck anyway. And so, you know, wait, he gets him right in, like, the left pectoral, right in the chest. He just, like, stumbles back against, leans against, like, the brick wall of the building, and, like, slides down slowly, and it's just like... Uh, like so, while he's, like, still alive, I'm gonna coup de grace this man, walk up, and just... As he just... I think, I think he just, like, like back fists his head against the brick, and he's like... Tsh! He just collapses. Yes! Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Crommel is very beaten and bloody, barely conscious, um, on the ground, uh, and then there's the three of us who have now committed triple homicide. I'm gonna... Quadruple well, homicide. me, me, plus my kill, quadruple. quadruple homicide. Wouldn't quadruple be the first time. Homicide. That's very Wouldn't true. be the first time, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna, like, uh, tap Cromwell on the chest, see if he wakes up. Well, he's conscious, just that he's, like, in too much agony to, to move. <laughs> hey. Uh... I can get you fixed up. Uh... Sound like a deal? Uh... <clears throat> One groan for yes, two for no. Uh... Deal. I'll be back. And I'm gonna, like, prop him up against the alley wall. Yes, yeah, so you prop him up against the alley wall. Uh, sirens are heard off in the distance, responding to the, the gunfire. Um, and uh, yeah, what, what 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 do you do? How do you uh, how do you help this this poor guy? Uh, I'm gonna bring him in to see the doc. Not the lady, but the good doctor in the basement of the condemned, because that's ah. a safe place for us. Yeah. So you, oh, you're gonna bring him into your your super secret hideout. Okay. Yeah. The bionic doctor who's gonna replace this guy's jaw and eye. Yeah. Um so you like, yeah. toss him over the back of your motorcycle and uh you, you speed off there. Oh I'd Actually, probably put him in the back of Andrew's car. Well, before we even go, you know, I have, you know, some words for Cairo. You know, being uh well uh, how did you get us into trouble this time, I must ask. Well, Told me to shoot him. To be fair, they didn't. I didn't actually say anything to you. They just kind of like gave you the gun and was like, "If you want." <laughs> they told me they gave me a gun. It was incentivized that I shot him. I said no, so I killed the dude in front of me. What do you want from me? Points just like laughs. I suppose I should have expected this. And I'll tell I wasn't about crawl to into the car. I wasn't about to kill him. Ponus is like, I would have, and it's like helps like drag him into the back of the of, of Void's car. You know, some of us do have morals. He's like, hey, I have morals. Just the killing's not on it. And then he just like, you know, tosses him limply in the back seat, you know, bleeding all over the m mediocre uh, upholstery of the car. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna like sigh and like shake my head as I get on my bike. Yeah, uh, bonus. He calls his bike over, and then this little mini convoy of ours make it to the condemned bar. We toss the the body of of Cromwell over to the doctor. The doctor is not very happy that you. This is the second time you've done this to him, by the way. No, 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 no. I'm gonna like knock on the door. I'm like holding up Cromwell. So knocking on the door, Cromwell's bleeding all over you and himself and the floor. It's like a trail of it uh, leading from the the condemned. And the door opens, and the doctor's like, "What? What?" Again, <laughs> look, if you don't have a patient right now, I beat the shit out of this guy. They wanted me to kill him. I refused to. Right? He challenged me to a fight. Look at what I did. It's the least I can do. Doctor looks looks you up and down. Uh, looks him up and down. Make me a charisma check. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, it's a pass. Doctor, he glares at you for long and hard for a few seconds, and then he's like, all right, fine. Like, I'm not paying for his cybernetics. And he just, like, taps the table, and you put him on the table, and he's like, all right, come back tomorrow, and I'll have him conscious and alive. Thanks again, Doc. And he's like, I hate you people. And he just, like, 
like Usher like, like shoves himself out the door and then slams the auto clip button on like the sliding door and like almost like cuts your your jacket off like it moves so quick. <laughs> he really doesn't like him. No, no, he does not. He doesn't like anybody to be fair. But he's he's too this afraid is true. Of, too afraid of bonus to tell him that he hates him. But he, he hates everybody. He can tell that to Andrew and me though. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, so that's where we can we can end today's mission, standing out front in the basement hallway of the uh, bionics doctor. <laughs> by, yeah. by the way, uh, Mr. Mr. Oi, before, before we end off, um, you can only heal uh, by either going to a doctor like this doctor or like healing yourself like actively. So I'm aware. Alrighty, good. Just want to let you know. Um, so you're still at like 210 out of 300 health. Uh, yeah, you need to get yourself to someone who can heal you. Or uh, why don't I just have my drone heal him? We're out of combat. Well, was your drone heals biologically. That's the, that's the difference. Oh. So he has, he has well, I suppose Sorry. I can just, you know, wait around here for this guy to be done and I'll pay for I'm a gonna wait there for a day. checkup. <laughs> I mean... Sure. I mean, I'll say that, like... Okay. Yeah, I could probably just do some self-repair on that amount of time, actually. Probably. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll me uh, a D100. D100. <sighs> 70. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're... I would say you're that, like you're so close to being at full health that... At that point, that like he'll just do the remainder for free. So over the course of the next day, <clears throat> you're back to full health. Yeah. No, uh, no cost to you. Nice, nice. And uh, and uh, you know, Darrow, you were also you you would heal naturally over the course of the you know coming. Yeah, they they took a slash at me. I'm fine though. Yeah. Shrug it off. The bleeding stopped before you even got to the condemned bar. At that point, you're just like, eh. yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Alright, well that pretty much wraps up this episode. Thank you all so much for watching and tuning in. If you all enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see these live, watch on Mixer at Mark Phone. Or XXX Mark Phone XXX. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time on Quest for the Core.